Thank you. Okay, well, howdy all. Well, heck, uh, yesterday was quite an interesting day after we all got up for our, uh, after our big adventure. Uh, me and Candy woke up bright and early in the morning, gathered ourselves our hundred cupcakes from the cupcake lady and her kids. Uh, quite an adventurous thing. We came back to the inn with our cupcakes and presented them in such a fantastic and presentable way, creating a heart to celebrate our new friendship between us and our party. You know, solidified all that great goodness that we all have. Uh, the day went pretty good. I learned that I, I had learned some new abilities. Was able to jump off of roofs to slow myself down. Even discovered that if like someone like Candy like holds on to me and I jump off, I can still slow that down and pre you know prevent like any sort of serious injury. Could be handy in the future. We'll have to see. Uh, in any case, past that factor, uh, well, uh, on our uh, once again went out and completed his axe and, uh, for for. Uh, Candy, it was look great axe, really good, good work. We we watched him complete it. Uh, I myself went over to say hi to the kid I helped earlier uh, at the when we first entered the town and had a nice chat with him. Uh, I don't know why, but it would seem that uh, Evelyn was like trying to pretend that, uh, she didn't know us. Don't know what was that about. I figure she was just playing, honestly. <laughs> But I'm sure it was all in good fun. Uh, after that, of course, we uh, all had our day about wandering around town uh, with the blacksmith, as I said, and, uh, you know, testing out some new stuff with Dan. And eventually, after the axe was finished, we went over back to the lake and decided to try out the new axe where Kanda sliced this tree down in one fell swing. And then I remember this myth I heard about of, like, good-looking people looking into, like, the water and it turned into a plant. And we were wondering where Alexander went, so I thought maybe that it was Alexander. We all had a good time with that gag until, you know, eventually it went on. And then, you know, we decided to head home. Oh, you know, pretty pretty light day. Wonder, wonder what's in store for us this day. More or less, that was our recap. <laughs> okay. So, about, um, just before you all head to bed, um, it's currently like, what, midnight-ish? Past, an hour past. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna roll to see who's actually... There isn't even that many. Marcus! Um, you hear a familiar voice in your head. Um, I hope I'm not waking you all. It's the, uh, voice of Demira. <laughs> oh, heck no, Demira! I'm just doing my squats! <laughs> at, at this time of night. I gotta get my, my, my... Before bed exercise is done. Bit of a long day today. <laughs> right. Well, if the others are still awake, which I believe they are, I've been observing. Um, could you gather them and make your way down towards, um, you know, that shrine that you appeared from close by towards the. East, east. You mean, you mean the one outside of town? Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, I suppose we can't. God, late at night for that, but I'm sure the others will be more than happy to get going. Marcus will start, like, doing his squats and do his hop squats as he starts going to the doors of everybody. He goes, hey, guys, we just got a call. <laughs> Marcus, why are you yelling? A call? Oh, yeah, Demir kind of hold at me. Uh, apparently, she wants us to go down to the shrine we all first appeared at. <laughs> <gasps> Tell her I said hi. Candace says yeah, hi, Demir. Yeah, across the end. <laughs> the, you don't hear a response. You feel like she's given you the message, and after that, she's disappeared. She hung up the phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Doc. Uh, I'm afraid she has already left the building, Candy. I don't think she heard the hi in the first place. I'm apologize for that. 
Oh, that's all right. I'm sure she's really busy. Probably. I mean, you know, if not, you know, it's probably her midnight snack time, knowing her, honestly. <laughs> <gasps> I hope it's cupcakes. <laughs> you know, we'll probably so... could use a bit of a pick-me-up as we water down to the shrine. Oh, well, um... Personally, I think that we should head there as soon as possible. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know exactly what she wants, but uh, it seems to be important enough to call us back here. I didn't think she'd actually do it. Um, Does anybody know what happened to Alexander? Not entirely sure, but similarly to before when we had all met, um, there was another figure next to us if the lot of you all remember, but it was taken by the shadows. Perhaps the same thing happened? Didn't he yes. turn into a tree? <laughs> um, something like that. Oh. Maybe he turned have any into of you a walked tree past shadow. <laughs> I mean, I would have figured we probably have tried to find Alexander at some point. Okay. Um, if you... <laughs> you would find a note. Yes. Um... The note would read that um, he has enjoyed um, traveling with you all for the short period of time. That has basically, well, been just a few couple of days. But he was notified by his patron, per se, that um, he needed to make his way towards her, and that he'd be doing that instead of accompanying you all along your journey. Well, ain't that a nice well, letter. That a nice... <laughs> he has, his handwriting is really pretty. One could say, pr like, perfection almost. Right. There, does there's, a, there's a small undernote that's Basically, like, I know you guys probably won't be able to function that well without me, but try, if you, as you might. Aw, he's worried about us. There, there's the Alexander I know. <laughs> Surprised you didn't make it just like, hey, I'm leaving because my glory is being diminished by you, so I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, to the shrine! Sounds like a plan. I wonder if it's a surprise party. Oh, you know, that'd be great. You know, we got the cupcakes for it, too. <gasps> you're right, you're right. <laughs> okay. So you all make your way towards the shrine. It's pretty dark out, and... Eventually, you make your way over towards the um, clearing where you had appeared from before familiar shrine um, to Tamira. Um, mm, everyone make me a perception check. Do we need to? Because Mark is just going to nat 20 it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've cursed it now. We'll probably get a nat it's 1 for the... the truth. Nope, see? There you go. For <laughs> once, I <laughs> things. This has never happened before. Okay. Here, let me... Oh shit, I realize I don't even have the thing open. Ah! Way to go. I'm doing wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, you feel as if the air around you is a little bit more colder than usual. Makes sense I wouldn't notice I have cold resistance now. <laughs> Makes sense I wouldn't notice I'm from the north. <laughs> it, it's uneerily cold as if like just underneath your clothes it still feels like this is this slightly biting chill is it just me or is it really chilly is it marcus is holding true. up his, yeah, marcus is holding up his marcus. ring of warmth i didn't notice <laughs> Perhaps a little. Hmm. Maybe it's 
Excuse me. Maybe it's one of those ice flowers again. Ice? Wait, yes. ice flower? The thing I found when we first got here. I thought it was a ghost. <gasps> Told it to piss off. Oh, that's oh, right! Oh, that made us near? Maybe it's another one of those. Is it the one that made a stance? No. That was no, a... no, no, that was the ghost in the ghost forest. Th he's talking that about was... the little flower we saw, just like by a tree. Yes, that was a ghoul. Oh! A specter. Huh. A ghost. So, wait, does no one else feel that? Feels kind of like home. I suppose it's unusual for a place this far south. Huh. Well, there's an easy fix to that. She's gonna jog in place. Yeah, that's the spirit! <laughs> exactly. Get the blood flow, it always keeps you warm. <laughs> Marcus will join next to her and start doing <laughs> it's spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't wear out all your energy. I am full of energy. Don't worry, we got cupcakes to re revitalize. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Yes, I know you're boundless, <laughs> but still. <laughs> Go ahead. As you've all Go ahead. gathered here, you start to see the the ground in front of the shrine start to shimmer, and as if the dirt and the grass is slowly <clears throat> being pulled away, turned into this kind of, like, warped into a um, colorless, grayscale kind of um, um, coloring. It even em emits like this um, pale moonlight. And there's still a bit of color, um, although faint. As you kind of see that the, the colors faded away, and the ground actually kind of starts to pull away. And... For a moment, it's distorted with this kind of, like, wreathing of shadows as, um, you see a figure start to slowly form, and with that perception check, Candy, you see two more, like, kind of ethereal figures just flit out from the, um, what seems to be some sort of portal. And they dart off, um, swirling around in the air, um, flitting towards the trees. Ooh. This figure slowly stirs for a moment before they open their eyes. And Damien, if you'd like to introduce your character. Of course. Uh, so Damien is a... Fairly tall, taller end for uh, people. Um, thin, pretty, actually, quite thin. Uh, uh, kind of young man. Um, he's got red hair. Um, his eyes are gray. Or like, are his eyes open? Like, is he? awake as well. yeah you you're awakening okay um uh, gray eyes uh small glasses on the bridge of his nose um and he's wearing very fine red clothing um it seems like uh this is a a person who uh is used to the uh Finer things in life, at the very least. Uh, they don't seem like they've seen hard labor. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's what uh, Damien looks like. He would just be looking at everyone kind of terrified, and also like he just woke up. So he's kind of in a vague halfway between realizing what's really happening. So I'm the only one who's noticed him so far? No, you notice him. You, uh, everyone notices him. Yeah. You're the only one who noticed figures kind of dot out as well from this kind of portal. And it's kind of sealed up beneath at this point. And, um, as, as he slowly co comes to and you'll kind of see this figure on the ground, you hear a, 
just kind of like this shrieking howl within very close by as a pale figure suddenly looms over and starts to dart towards Damien. And I need everyone to roll me initiative. Oh boy. Oh boy. Jesus Jeez. fucking Christ. Oh! <laughs> Candy is distracted by the immediate thought process of, ooh, new friend! You rolled a one and I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> one moment. Okay. Also, I hear an echo. Storm. Bree! <laughs> Get trapped. Where am I? Man, oh, there I am. Once this lockdown's over, I'm tempted to like mail you off a good headset. And the, oh, I was told that this was fine, but apparently not. <laughs> so I was like, I went up to him, was like, oh, what do you suggest is a good headset? He's like, yeah, this one's pretty good. It's got a retractable fucking voice microphone, and it's pretty good. And like, no, maybe it's no. too good. Maybe it's too good and it picks up everything I wanna fucking Anyways. I yeah. I just don't know how your headset how picks, your headset up, the, picks up the, the our voices. I don't know, maybe it's too sensitive. No, I don't know. I hate it. Also, do I gotta get moved to the bottom? Uh yeah, no, I just need to roll and initiative here. Candy Oof. and Marcus are too busy uh, jogging in spot together to do anything. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that is a bunch of bad initiatives. Oof. Oh boy. Just like, new friend! Don't see the danger. <laughs> okay. Um, Am I prone? Am I technically prone? Technically, yes, you are prone. Okay. Oof. Um, as it is going to. Dot out towards you, um, and make a swipe towards you, reaching out towards you. It was nice knowing your new character there. <laughs> yeah, he's got. I mean, not a lot of, not a lot of hit points. Yeah, unfortunately, even if you were standing up, a, a natural twenty does. Oh god, oh, did you just straight out on kill Pride's character? Oh. <laughs> uh, you take 19 points of necrotic damage? Ooh, not good. Oh no! Uh, and that's, yeah, that's it, as you just, as you come to, and from what you basically, um, f for you, you would have found yourself doing, if, um, from wherever you were before, whatever you were doing, probably asleep, found yourself in a dream, awakening into a kind of like shadowy realm before appearing here. And it's just so quick and so instant from, from where you were, like just not even an hour ago. Um, and suddenly attacked and hit for 19 points of damage. Um. Are you even conscious at this point? I He's am. Fine. Yeah. He's holding on. I'm just asking because I, I I saw your hit point roll. I'm like, if my math's right, you only got 18 hit points. No, that was I still I have my base <laughs> hit points from first level that make it okay. Oh, if your your hit points from first level should only be nine though, shouldn't they? Yeah, I so took a I took. Oh, you I took, took tough. Oh, I took tough. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's why I'm like tough, tough. Wow, you were down like no hit points. Then oof. <laughs> anyway, it's Damien. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I was going to ask if I recognized this thing, but given the fact that it just attacked me, um, I don't. I think they was just free. Uh, uh, yeah, probably not, unless you have any history with undead. I don't think that's he what he specializes I'd, in. Yeah, no. Um, but uh, he would. Yeah, uh, you just hear a very high pitched like. Oh no! Oh no! No! And um, he <laughs> will take out his uh, a, a symbol for an amulet from his uh, um, 
from underneath his clothes. And... Dude, turn him dead. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um, which... Is that guy's just, just out of range. Out of range. Um, okay. Uh, it is a wisdom save against your save DC. Fails! Nice. Um, so yeah, that one's gone. That one's turned, at the very least. Um, okay, as you kind of see, as you pull out your holy symbol, and it kind of flashes for a moment, you see this um, kind of ethereal creature, this white pale woman, kind of... <laughs> shriek as she pulls her hand towards her eyes and pulls away. Okay. Um, yeah, I think he would quickly stand up. And, uh... You can move. Okay. Um... Don't do it! Does They can't take reactions, so he's free to... Yeah, I think... He would look at the uh, the group of people here, some of which look like they can. I mean, the half orc has a giant <laughs> axe. Um, yeah, they look. The, the uh, three of them look like fighters. Yeah. So uh, he's going to run towards the. Uh, please, please, I'll pay you. I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> There, there ain't no worries here, friend. We're all, we're all good here. <laughs> of course we'll help you. You don't have to pay us. You did get up from prone, so you do have 15. Oh, half damage. Damage, half the speed, yeah. So you would just get... Uh... Just get right next to Einar there. <laughs> yeah, here we go there. Okay. Evelyn. Okay. So, from what I understand, last time I checked, your boy just got... Damaged pretty fucking badly. <laughs> yeah, he pretty hurt. Yeah, he's not. He's not doing great. Hmm. Mm, then yeah, I suppose. Sure, first because there's several fucking shadowy creatures around me. Uh, good. Oh, no, actually, distancing myself would probably be bad, because that means, uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna pour a, I'm gonna pour a level 2 healing word into this boy, just to make sure that he's okay, and just seeing him scramble towards Evelyn and the rest of her party, I feel like very much, um, for a moment, what may have been something similar to that of a smirk quickly turns into a more determined look as she's just all right hold on and let me evelyn mm. sorry this is taking for fucking ever for some reason uh okay Ooh! Max and then <laughs> minus. Min max. <laughs> Min max. Thank you. Of course. That'll be five gold now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't agree to prices. <laughs> okay, that's your bonus action. Okay, um believe after that eh, eh. yeah I'm gonna give a um, why is my brain just failing me today uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and give no I can't do that can't do inspiration because I already did that yep. thing so in other words I will go ahead and happily um, I'll go ahead and throw a, a, a vicious mockery over towards the ghoulish figure over there mock the other one Fuck the other- why? Because- This one- earlier. this one is looking like it's trying to get away at the moment. <sighs> Fine. I'll mock the other one then. The other this one's one? uglier anyway. Who are you uh, mocking? I believe- 
Uh, Vicious Mockery is uh, 60 feet. Oh, yeah, uh, the the dark figure. Okay. Oh, God. I just oh, looked. I, I know what that thing I is. That thing is. <laughs> it saves. Oh, fuck. Well, like uh, from Slither. Yeah, I can't do anything else, I don't believe, so. Okay. I think that'll be the end of my turn, I think. I know. Einar is going to let out his battle yell and go big boy status with giant's might. Which either shoves us out of the way or shoves Brian out of the way. <laughs> I assume you're walking and then after moving past Damien. Yeah, I'm not going to do it like right where I'm at. But... Alright. Uh, and I'm gonna charge at this thing down here and yell, piss off, ghost. I'm gonna swing my, uh, Warhammer at it. Okay. A uh, 14 hits. Dealing 9 points of the watching damage. Plus the 2. Oh, wait, plus the 2. Uh, yeah. So 11. 11. Reduced down. Then, uh, why not? I'll go ahead and invoke Ild on it. Isn't that a... Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the Ild is your... Yeah, the fire. So he needs to make a DC 13 strength saving throw. Fails. It is restrained. Noise. Just to make sure that you're legit, it's a capable of being restrained, right? Because I know some spirits uh, aren't. Yes, let's, let me check. It is not restrained. <laughs> That's what I think. That's what I... <laughs> As you see, these chains just try to um, just wrap around this this uh, wraith-like creature. Just completely pulls uh, like down into its incorporeal form and just. Um, just doesn't catch anything as the chains just shadow. No, no, that's not quite fair. <laughs> that's that's okay. true! It looked like it was going to work! <laughs> Marcus. So, uh, Marcus will look over at the... the, uh, the... I, fuck. Honestly, I'm going to have to make an, uh, my own yeah. int saving throw here. Because I don't know if Marcus knows what turning undead is. <laughs> nope. Uh, Marcus kind of looks about uh, at, at all the spooky ghosts around him, trying to re figure out what's happening. Uh, he'll use his first movement to go. You know, we got this, buddy! I just kind of run past here, goes 5, 10, 15, 20. You know, fire my first two shots at the ghost that got seen to be slippery as an eel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oof. Misses. It's six points of radiant damage. Yeah. Uh, and, and then he will see the injured friend. Don't worry, pal. I got you. And he, I'm not going to take the defensive stance, but he's just going to mimic taking a defensive stance in front of his ally, <laughs> his new oh. found friend. <laughs> it's turn. Hmm. I need Marcus. Uh, Don't say Evelyn. Don't fucking say Evelyn. Evelyn. Fuck. Oof. To make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh oh. Fine. Evelyn's great at everything, so. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> okay. Everyone's good at everything. I'm the both of you feel this kind of like dark voice just kind of whisper and it, and it starts to multiply and it's telling you to inflict harm upon those nearest you 
And you resist its effects, but Marcus, there's uh -oh. a slight moment where you just falter and, and you're not able to resist the the call of, of... And this is not really you, but you need to make an attack against um, Damien. <laughs> Do oh, right. I pick what Talk I attack him with, or do you pick what I attack him with? I uh, it's just a, um, I mean, you just punch him. Okay. It's a melee weapon attack. <laughs> of course, I roll max well, damage on you. A points of radiant damage as <laughs> you suddenly see this figure who was once protecting you just turn around and sock you in the face, just straight punch. Did he break my? Do be fair, could have been a lot. <laughs> <laughs> of worse if that was candy. <laughs> That's a good question. Does he break the glasses? No. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. It's okay. Uh, Marcus, you also take 10 points of psychic damage. As you suddenly shake and you, and you just oh! watch as your fist punches straight into him and you just like realize what you've done. Holy shit! Oh, I'm sorry! Shit. God, my head is killing me! Marcus, that's not how you have to friends! I know! <laughs> Uh, Candy. So Candy sees him snap out of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say because she would attack Marcus then. Um. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, she'll go for the one that she can make it towards. So, uh, running in this direction, she kind of points at uh Marcus. It's just like. No hurting the new friend, please, thank you! And takes out her giant great axe and will swing it at this creature. Okay. Or, I mean, great axe licorice. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that just misses, unfortunately, as you're trying to bring it into, um, bring your great axe licorice slamming down into it as it just kind of like shimmers and just barely moves out of the way. As it um dots the side. Whoopsie! <laughs> um, that's your turn, Candy. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Unfortunately, because your attack did miss it, it hasn't taken any damage. So it just continues to look towards Damien, and it is going to move away. You get an attack of opportunity if you wish. Uh, seeing strangely enough that it's running away now, she will kind of hold her axe in the air, just kind of think, "Huh, well, that's a little weird." Oh, I right, tend to my freak this somewhere else, and she'll let it go. Okay. Does she think the axe did it? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, she scared it. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's turned for a very long... For a whole minute, basically, it's... A whole minute. It's a whole minute. Yeah. Yeah, it can't do anything. It, it's basically out of <laughs> combat at this point. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um... Okay. Damien. Yes. Uh... Damien is like... Where did... Where did Marcus hit Damien? In the face, like... Okay. Just uh, sock you right in the in the cheek. Yeah, Damon is holding his face and it's like, oh, I um, what is happening? <laughs> um, and look around, see that one of them turned gigantic. Um, and we'll uh, huh. did I get to see that there was another one over there? Uh, down below, like, towards yeah. the south? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I will... Ugh. I'm gonna cast the aid on a group of us. Alrighty. So, I will boost, um, Candy, um, Einar, and myself. Alrighty. 
Um, I will then back up. <laughs> Hopefully not get hit by Marcus, because that would be bad. Just feel lucky I he didn't say use the staff, or I would have probably knocked you unconscious. <laughs> um, or you would have missed. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and I think I, I think that's all. I'm what was that? Sorry, I I, I, was, I just said I, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Ah, okay. Um, so all right. the three of us get uh, five more hit points. To our maximum and their Woo! Okay. Make sure you keep track that that goes away after eight hours. Yeah. Evelyn. You're muted, Judah. Ah! Okay. So, with everything that's going on, hmm. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'd say current situation isn't looking extremely dire. We'll see about that, though. But uh, as far as that that mysterious monster of mystery, uh, I believe am going to hmm. yeah, sure, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and give an inspiration over towards IR and. For the meantime, just because I'm paranoid, I'm going to use my dodge action. Just in case! Okay. And that'll be the end of my turn. Einar. My last hit, did it seem effective against this thing? Nope. It's only a little effective. Somewhat effective. Okay. I'm gonna skirt around the sides of it. So about there. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and whack this thing one more again. Oof. <clears throat> yeah, of inspiration. Yeah, it's a D6, right? D6, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Woo! And it hits. Dealing 13, reduced down to 6. Why not? I'll go ahead to Action Surge and hit him again. Okay. Smack him. Smack him real good. Ah, oh, shit. Or not. <laughs> as you um, just bring your uh, Warhammer down towards as you dart around towards its side, and you feel like you're going to miss for a moment before you feel Evelyn's inspiring words, and you just slightly adjust your... Um, your swing. I managed to catch it into like just the shoulder as it swings down into it and you feel that there's this slight resistance as it passes through but not that much to an effect um, as you bring your second attack surging towards it and it just darts out of the way. Alright. Let's send you back to your deep nap. That's my turn. Say it! What did you call me? So it's Marcus will use 25 feet of move to go there. Goes, okay, you ordinary son of a bitch. This time I'm not. You're not gonna make me hurt my friends. I'm far enough away from them. You, goddamn spirit of hell, and I will pop up. Okay. <laughs> At least the second one did. I'll fuck it. I'll use a key point and I'll uh, flurry of blows. There we go. Pop up. <laughs> 11 points of damage. It is looking pretty bad. Then I will Backing up so I don't get near anybody. Why are you pointing an arrow at me? Can you not? <laughs> I'm, I'm pointing arrows. Don't worry about it. Don't you know that pointing don't. is rude? 
Right? Don't worry about it. And I'm like, there's a, there's a. <laughs> it's about to cast fireball on you guys. It's, it's fine. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay, there we go. Oh god damn it! You do get an attack of opportunity, I know, as it moves out of the way. Which hits dealing oh. nine, nine, eight, eight, seventeen, eight points of damage. Wow. Eight. Sure regrets that one. <laughs> I read that as eighteen for some stupid reason. <laughs> um, as it darts out of the way, and you try to, uh, you bring your uh, warhammer swinging down towards it, catching it in, the b in its back as it kind of, you feel the the. Once again, the ethereal resistance as you bring it down into this um, ghastly figure. But as you it know, makes I its just, way over here... I feel the need to hammer down! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay. I need everyone to make me a wisdom saving throw. As you start to hear this, uh, this like um, oh. howling there we go. <laughs> babble of, of mixed voices just haunting oh, through my... Our cleric <laughs> failed. I'm sorry, Evelyn. Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, remember when I said I was paranoid and decided to take the dodge action? I'm really happy I did. <laughs> so, but you know, who knows if I'll even succeed? <laughs> the oh. will of the North remains unbroken. Not gonna get me okay. twice with the same trick, you fucker! This, this means that we can just get to attack other people, Candy! Are you excited? Yay! Uh, oh no. Actually, this is a different effect. Yeah, that was, this is probably gonna be worse. Oh. Um, all three of you, you take... Oh, 17 points of psychic damage. Oh, down goes our cleric. Oh. And you are stunned until the end of your next turn. Oh, oh. oh, on a successful save, you take half the amount. So everyone else, you take uh, eight, eight points eight. of second damage. So a bunch Marcus, of people just like you feel a tickle. In yeah, your yeah, I was a bit. I, I heard it before, not as bad, but man, that is a migraine and a half. Uh, you guys okay? <laughs> Look over I think the other. We need to take care of this. I think you're the right. <laughs> the other three just drop into their knees, clutching their head. <laughs> I One of them's fall. unconscious and dying. Yeah. <laughs> oh. As it darts towards this location. Candy, you are stunned. Uh, mm -hmm. you just, you've just recovered from your stun as you, um, as you end your turn. So, fortunately, oh. you can't do anything. So, sorry to ask again. 17 points of what damage? Psychic. Psychic. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> ha Scared. Just... It's looking pretty bad. After the attack that I know slapped against it for just moving out of the way to do this, it got pretty fucked up. <laughs> Not to mention the uh, the damage old Marcus did, which isn't resisted. Um. Okay, Damien, I need a death save. Oh boy. <laughs> Meets the party. I'm so sorry. Makes death saves already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did die. Good. You'll you'll be you'll be able to. Sur Worst part was is if you had a roll to that one is like oh god no, we don't have any way of bringing you up. <laughs> so I have a potion. Mm. Evelyn, you uh, you recover from your stun. Nope. Do, I know. Am I? Am I? Oh, do I have anything I I can do or? No, you're. No, it's at the end of your turn. So I... it's like getting hit by my monk fists. I'll run up and smack this boyo. Or not. Nope. Not. Misses. I'm not gonna smack it. But Don't if it worry. runs, I will hit it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, you goddamn spectral spirit of hell! Mark I say it quit! <laughs> and I will, uh, I will go at him with my two unarmed blows. Oh, there we go! <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, if you missed both of those, it would've been real bad. <laughs> How do you want to do my... this? Okay, so Woo! Marcus says the first one. We kind of like still has his headache with his eyes closed. Kind of swings and misses, like slaps himself in the face. Like, oh, I got it now. He's gonna do like that 
bicycle soccer kick and kind of like do like the uh, Guile Sonic kick thing as he just splits the fucker in half with his radiant bolt. <laughs> okay, as this, you just swing um, your leg kicking out towards it. It's this kind of like arcing, almost crescent shape of um, um, radiant blast comes streaking out from, from the curve and it just slices like just diagonally into it as it dissipates and fades into nothing. As it Marcus just kind of lets out a... That's what you get for hurting my friends, cocksucker! <laughs> Fuck his language. Oh, Backward. sorry about that. <laughs> the lady's around. He just gives Einar a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um... Candy. I mean... Uh... Yeah, from her point of view... The Sith are evil? Uh, from her point of view, that creature might come back. Evelyn Actually, just shook off it, the sun. Is, but... That's that's a point. I don't know if Turn Undead still works when he's unconscious. Huh? I'll check. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, turn creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can. Can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. This will can't take reactions for its action. It can only use. Uh, if there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action instead. Is it concentration? Uh, it's not. It's simply. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. All right. Um, from Candy's point of view, her intelligence is very average. So you can yeah. Make a roll for it. Uh, it's more that plus the whole her virtue thing, so yeah, she'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, and Candy will quickly shuffle through her bag. Gosh, this could come in handy at another time. <laughs> shuffle through her bag and she'll take out her health potion. And she you will. Really... You could just wait one turn. <laughs> I can! She doesn't know that! <laughs> she knows that Evelyn is a healer, and she knows that Evelyn is currently not contested. And she saw Evelyn get stunned. That's why... Yeah, but she also saw her literally wear off of that, though. Uh... I mean, oh. Evelyn, you can say something. You you see her walking up towards... Yeah, then, then in that case, yeah, Evelyn would just kind of turn over towards Candy. It's just, don't worry about that one. I've, I have him. Oh, you sure? You're good? Yeah, um, a little stiff, but better than just a second ago. Oh, oh alright, um, uh, she'll put the cork back in, put it away. Uh, is it... Hmm. I guess, yeah, then she'll just stand her ground and guard then, so hold her action and attack anything that comes within range that's an enemy. Okay. Damien, death save. Cool. Okay. Evelyn. Alrighty. Well, um... Forget what he says, he... <laughs> uh... S let's see. Okay, yeah. Uh, level 1 healing word. Let's get this boy back up. Uh, nice. Full healing. Yeah, okay. uh, Damien just takes a breath and is just so confused and scared right now. Yeah, just like, kind of looks over towards him and just... Are you alright? Uh, I... I'm, I'm alive. Well, that's a start. Okay. Uh, not to interrupt, but are we gonna chase down that other spooker? You're the fast one, go on ahead. It's, it's yeah. moving at like yeah. 80. Like, it is so far off map right now. Like, from where it is, it's another, like, 80 feet or so away. 
So yeah. it, it is long gone. Do you think we should run off before it comes back? I'm going to run up to this tree line here and... Can I see it? Uh, let me a perception check. Uh, Damien would say, uh, it, it, nope. Should, it should be fine. Um, I, I, I made it run away with, well, with my men. I mean, I'm all fine with that, but I don't know if I feel comfortable having an undead spirit wandering around these woods. I mean, there's kiddies out here. Where is here? I mean, you were taking a nap here. Didn't you choose to take a nap here? Psst, can't I think you came the same way we did. <laughs> and she, like, puts her hands against her cheeks. You really are part of our new buddies, then. <laughs> Damien is just so confused. <laughs> he just gives everyone a look of confusion. Hey, friend, did Wait, you meet what? that, uh, uh, you know, uh, did you have a conversation with, a like, a fairly attractive, uh, demigod woman in a spectral plane of death who had a vicious appetite? <laughs> no. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, I must still be screaming. Also, is Damien still just, like, sitting down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Candy will help yank him back up onto his feet. <laughs> Marcus will just walk over. By the way, sorry about the punch there. I don't know what came over me. That thing kind of just kind of got in my head and made me go crazy. Also, I realized, but should we, like, be introducing, uh, uh, words, our characters to him? No, that makes sense. I guess he doesn't know what we all look like based off our tokens. Precisely. Are we out of combat? Yeah, you, you wait for a decent amount of time, and a few minutes go past, and you're just kind of standing guard. But it doesn't seem to return. Hmm. Once I shrink back down to my <laughs> other side, I'll walk back over to the others. So, should we all introduce ourselves? Oh, that sounds like a fine idea, Candy. Oh, oh, I want to go first. Can I go first? Well, you go right ahead. Yay! All right. Um, hi, my name is Candy. And she'll uh, take Damien's hand and, like, excitedly, like, shake it. with. Since you said he's a uh, skinny boy, his arm probably flops around from the sh force of it. For and sure. <laughs> and then lets it go. My name is Candy. Um, I am part of this group here. And wait, did we ever decide on a name? I know, we were debating on so many things. I mean, we were talking like cupcake piles and... Oh, right, right, we're the Cupcake Brigade and she'll t make a pose. <laughs> Speaking of which, Marcus mm. will reach into the bag of holding and pull out a cupcake. Cupcake? <laughs> um, maybe... Uh, he pinches himself <laughs> to, like, make sure he's awake. Uh... And he just, um, okay, wait, where are, is there a town, are we, where, where's the nearest settlement? Well, you're not too far off, we're nearby, and, um, kind of like actually takes a moment. Uh, Nikki, <laughs> other than the picture, do you, are you going to... Oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with her still in the pose of the Cupcake Brigade, uh, you see this um, four foot, ten inch half orc girl uh, with um, a light green skin color, short white hair, kind of like in a pixie cut. Um, she's got light brown eyes. Um, wheel uh, Rested upon her back is this giant great axe that's like... Twice her size, almost, uh, with the what appears to be like a crystal skull, almost embedded on the uh, middle portion of the uh, the sharp area. Big words, I don't know words. Uh, her <laughs> her clothes are basically she's wearing this um, this dark brown dress that stops at about uh, mid upper thigh, um, and this um, sort of lighter uh, cloak 
over her shoulders that drapes down to about behind her knees with a variety of skull patterns on on it. And uh, a little nose ring underneath as well. Expression. What's going on with the eyes? Because I actually am curious about that as well. I don't think we've ever talked about that. With her eyes? Well, like her eyes, her expression. Oh, she has this bright... Tell, yeah. yeah, she has this bright, happy smile on her face. She did not rage, so nothing magical going on at the moment, but uh, she's got this very bright, cheery, happy smile on her face. <laughs> She's got the anime eye twinkle. Exactly. <laughs> just stick your sparkles behind the head. <laughs> so I guess uh, after her a proud <laughs> proud announcement of the uh, of the cupcake squad, um, Evelyn would just kind of walk over um, with the almost a bit of a saunter and just places a very kind hand on Candy's shoulder and smiles over towards Damien. It's just no, we aren't. And yes, we are. Featuring <laughs> Featuring Evelyn, uh, she is a, eh, I'd say pretty, um, pretty average height, uh, five six, um, dark skinned woman with uh, pretty decently longer curlier hair uh, that kind of goes about in a fro, uh, with what seems to be, um, what could, you can make out to be a piercing on the um, on her eyebrow. And with what seems to be, generally speaking, pretty kind, dark eyes with uh, sharper eyebrows. But uh, even then, she kind of gives you a a happy a happy smile. Yes, like uh, like Candy, but definitely um, a bit more passive, a bit more motherly in nature, one could say. Um, on the opposite side of that, though, she generally is pretty... Uh, yeah, I'd say comparatively as to the clothing that Candy wears, uh, she's a lot more closed off in comparison. Uh, tight leather jacket, some slacks, amongst other things. Very, mm, what would you call it? I guess covert in the way that she dresses. Um, but most notably, if anything, I guess, would be essentially her face. It has this almost ethereal beauty to it that um, kind of sticks out just a little bit more um, in comparison to what you may have seen other and other people in general, really. Um, just not sure if it's because she's the person who was kind of looming over you as you came back to consciousness or anything. But yeah, um, but other than that, um, she regards you with, generally speaking, um, kindness. But um, kind of gestures on towards the others. And we're just a bit of an adventuring group. Um, we had been told to retrieve, well, not really retrieve anything. It was just supposed to be an important uh, announcement or something. Isn't that right, Marcus? Oh, well, that's right. Uh, and with Marcus, uh, you will notice a next standing next to her is a decent height, uh, heighted man at six feet, uh, kind of a lean, mus muscular build. Uh, kind of wears what looks to be what, in our term, would be kind of like a long red trench coat style thing with a well, held open with kind of a white shirt underneath. Uh, you'll notice he's got. Uh, kept black hair and he's got the kind of a boyish friendly grin on his face uh pr pretty handsome person all said and told uh has a very charismatic smile on his face at all times uh the most notable thing though is he does wear a pair of like red gloves on his hands but underneath the gloves you'll notice that light is just shining through out of the gloves like through the bottom just giving a slight glow to his hands constantly uh he's got looks down and is like, yeah, we were uh, supposed to go, you know, meet somebody here. I'm guessing that must be you, by the way, my friend. Uh, what was your name again? Uh, as everyone, like, spoke and introduced themselves, uh, Damien would have started recovering as he realized this is, like, he's awake. This is, like, real life. This is real! <laughs> um, and he would have, uh, been, like, setting his, his, uh, Clothes straight and like dusting himself off, and uh, when you ask uh, who are you again, he would clear his throat and uh, stand up straight and say, "Oh, uh, my name is um, Damien Vale Esquire. Uh, I'm a scrivener." A what? A what? It, uh, it's it's just a. I'm a scribe, uh, a notary. Uh, I, I deal in contracts. And, and... 
investigation, acquisition, um, identification. Well, isn't that like interesting? That. Um, how did you find yourself here? And they should I... note, uh, prior, I'm sorry, I'm just making sure, uh, his manifestation, was that already revealed yet? Or was I not hearing things correctly? Because earlier in the session, my brain was not absorbing information at all. I think Candy had pointed out something peculiar about him, but I'm not sure. Uh, she just pointed out that he was a skinny boy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I, I pointed that out, because yeah, uh, he was okay. described as that. Yeah, and Marcus okay. pointed out the fact that he's probably, that we came in the same way he did, like, in the forest, not knowing where you are. Oh, okay, I was just wondering if his manifestation was out yet. Okay, then, that's okay. Um, but continue, sorry. Yeah, um, he <clears throat> clears his throat. Um, anyway, yeah, I, uh... I was. I'm sorry. You said we were near a settlement. Uh, what? What uh, settlement are we near? Um. Well, she kind of gestures uh, faintly over in the direction of where they had kind of came from. Um, I don't remember the name of our town. Offset. Um, offset. Uh, do I know anything about offset? Like, what I <coughs> roll me a history check. <clears throat> cool. This is an odd question, but um, you wouldn't happen to be from this empire, right? You don't know anything. Um, does offset sound like a, a chimera empire? Um, you probably know more along the lines of the city stuff. Okay. Smaller towns, um, probably not so much, so you're not entirely too sure. Offset is well known for their oyster balls. Yeah, yeah, that kind of put them on the map, I'd say. Uh, or off. I'm, I'm not sure what map they're on. Um, I must have not seen it. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm from uh, Fortitude. Do we at all know about Fortitude? Oh. Thank you for that noise, Storm. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyone? I, well, Yeah. You pretty much all would know Fortitude. It is the largest Chimeran capital city of the entire continent. Like, just across all three regions. Well, just the, across the entire continent, it is the, the largest capital. It is where basically a huge, like, where all the mili- uh, the, the biggest operations of military are, like, all the military leader, like, huge leaders would meet up or discuss things or just it is just the the basically the staple <laughs> it's like Cyrodiil basically so uh, do we all know that you would all know that would somebody coming from that be impressive at all or um just like ah oh, yeah city boy someone coming from fortitude if you're... I don't think anyone here is actually... Yeah, no one here is actually Orobani. So yeah, no one really here has anything to fear. But uh, magic wait a is second. still kind of spooky. Uh, Kenny yeah, gets they, really it, sparkly eyed and just like, oh, So you're a really super important person? Essentially, like... Someone from there would spark, basically, like, if they're a proper like, Chimeran citizen and they hate or want magic controlled as much as the Chimeran Empire does, you should be very, very wary. Especially with chaotic magic. Uh, repeat that one more time just to make sure I'm getting it correctly. Sorry. You, you're just... You gotta be very wary because... Anyone from Fortitude 
there's a very high chance that they either just want to control magic or they hate magic or they just they follow the true chimeran principles okay so yeah so they're, they're the they're uh they're, they're the uh they're the imperials uh, yeah the imperials basically imperial yeah ah you're one of uh, hmm, you're from that area huh super important person right uh i i, I wouldn't say that i uh he he, kind of like folds in on himself a bit at that instant. I'm I'm not very important, um, really. But uh, <clears throat> I I just I just work for the uh, the important people, I guess. I mean, doesn't that mean you're best friends with important people? That's making you an important person. <gasps> We're around important people, guys. Come on, Candy. We're all important in our own way. <laughs> well, yes, of course. I mean, I just meant... Uh, she, like, taps her chin. Well, I mean, you know what I meant. No, oh, fair enough. I get it. Like, he, he seems like a big wig is kind of thing, what you mean. Yeah, like, super special. I mean, we're all super special, but also super special. By the way, Einar, you got anything to say about this? <laughs> hmm. Just keep an eye out for that banshee. Is that what that oh. thing was? <laughs> I have no idea. Some uh, it, it, I, I doubt it will uh, be coming back. Um, I know I'm not as uh, um, in, intimidating as, uh, as you are, uh, but I, I, it won't, it won't be coming back. By the way, now you want to describe what your character looks like for the sake of. <laughs> He might. Uh... Sure. Having shrunk down to his normal size, he is a very largely built half elf at at least six and a half feet tall, uh, easily over 230 pounds. Uh, they built him big in the north. He doesn't actually have the plate armor yet that he does in the picture. He's just got uh, chain mail at the moment. Um, oh, are your ears clipped? Uh, I don't think they... no. But you are from a really small village. That's just kind of like he wouldn't uh, have a he would never have had a reason to up there. It, yeah. Yeah. I mean, his last name means elf son, so. <laughs> Fair kind of hard to get away from it for him yeah no, that's uh, on, on his back there is this rather ornate looking bear pelt that uh, is not draped over his head like in the picture at the moment so you can see his short blonde hair and uh, blonde beard but the uh, bear pelt is definitely interesting I would say as that bear was pretty massive And then he does carry a couple of weapons, a rather fine-looking sword, uh, very Nordic in design, and then a Oracolcrum Warhammer, as well as a nice, big, meaty tower shield of sorts. And he's got a hand axe. I forgot about that. And generally, he wears a stony, stoic kind of face, uh, unless he decides to kind of relax, let back, and goof, goof and gaff a little, which happens on occasion. But cool. he's easily the tallest person around in this yeah. party. I answered you, by the way, Brian. I, I saw. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in any case there, uh, Damien, it's a pleasure to meet you and all, and uh, Marcus will hold out his hand. Realize it's got a cupcake in it, switch it to another hand, and reach out his hand again. <laughs> uh, Damien nods uh, quickly. Of course, uh, <clears throat> just 
sorry. Uh, yeah, of course. Where are my manners? Uh, it's a it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Um, thank you for thank you all uh, for for saving me. I... First oh. one's free. We're just gonna leave you there. Don't listen, I and He's a kidder. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, uh, when when uh, Damien shakes your hand, uh, Damien also is wearing uh, gloves, uh, but his gloves are like fine, uh, like they they're made to match his fine clothing. Um, they're probably like some kind of leather, um, like that's uh, pr- prepared in a certain way to look red and match the red of his. Marcus will look down at the gloves. Go, Those are some nice gloves you got on there. Uh, yeah, they were. Um, they cost me six months of work. Woo, woo, wee! Those uh, that much I mean, Mine were just a few copper. He says, it's kind of like normal, kind of like normal gloves. <laughs> Evelyn raises her own hands. It's just, and they're very soft and, generally speaking, almost not necessarily like. Fair, but more like a uh, eh, like a soft leather, and she just kind of raises her hand and just yeah, um, only a few copper for this as well. Um, but um, definitely though, it's not like we were just going to leave you here. And hi, um, my name is Evelyn, and she walks up and goes over to shake your hand. Um, though I should mention is that she at first goes with one hand and kind of notices almost to a bit of shock, and you would notice this too, that um, that it seems as though the pointer finger on her left hand seems to almost be swollen. So, uh, for actually a decent amount before she actually holds back the hand and uses her other and just... Uh, sorry. Stopped it. <laughs> oh, um... I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, uh I... I know, I know a bit of medicine. Um, I could check it, see see if it's uh, <clears throat> see if it's broken. Oh no, um, it's already on its way of healing. It's just, you know, blood. Yeah, yeah I think I think we all took a bit of a shot from that thing's a uh, little in our heads, right? Was it just me? Wait, does I know wear gloves? Um. Gauntlets, at least, I'm assuming, but... Probably, probably gauntlets, but not gloves like the rest of you know. Okay, because Katie just, like, looks at everyone's hands and then looks at her bare hands. It's just like... <gasps> I need to get some, too. Marcus probably... Does Candy say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marcus reaches into his back pocket. Uh, did you want one my backup pair? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm going to get rainbow-colored ones. Yeah, that's without a great the, without idea. The, without, the, without, the, without the fingertips. Oh, that's great! You know, that, that way your fingers are free to hold your axe better. Exactly. Uh, I got quite a few pairs. I, got, I burned through them pretty fast. <laughs> Literally, I figured... Go hunt this ghost down so it doesn't terrorize the countryside? You know, that's not a bad idea. I was thinking about it. Uh, does anybody here actually know how to hunt a ghost? Uh, no. Not my area of expertise. I mean, if it can live, it can die. I'm sure we can hunt it. Sure, except the fact that it doesn't exactly leave prints. Ooh, that's a good point. Hmm. Well, uh, she looks between you, Evelyn, and the new friend, Damien. I was just like, well, both of you are two magic casters of sorts. With a lot of skill and talent. I'm sure one of you must have something, right? Kind of looks over towards Damien. With almost a corked eyebrow. Uh, I... I work in an office. Exactly! Exactly, so you must be super smart, right? I mean... I, I've never hunted Go. That's not... Well, I mean... What is an I... office? That's a place where, like, it's got four walls and a door, and you, like, have a ink, ink and quill and kind of write down paperwork. 
Well, I mean, it's entirely up to you, Damien. thing isn't honest. I mean, doesn't that take a lot of smarts to do that, though? I suppose it depends. But, um, Damien, um... I know that you might be a little uncomfortable with all of this, but, I mean, if you would like, I'd happily be able to show you back to our inn. Um, the only thing, though, is that I'm not sure, because it seems like a lot of us are all going, and it would probably be bad to leave you with a ghost that seemed to be rather intent on harming you before. You know, I wonder if they just came through with him through the portal, like, you know, because we were attacked by all the spooky ghosts, too, when we were originally here, right? Right. Uh, didn't um, didn't she say something about that? Uh, unruly shadows or something? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I mean, I mm -hmm. still feel... Un don't know if we should have left that uh, one creepy white one get away as it did. Um, who is she? You said that you were told that I would... Did someone bring me here? Um, I suppose It was my power. I apologize. My sister! The mirror, yeah, you know, kind of wide hair, kind of big, uh, big, 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 uh, like mouth to eat things with, uh, striking figure of a woman, demigod you of sorts. You have some sort of crush, Marcus. Huh? I just recognize beauty when I see it, Evelyn. This As if on cue. Sorry. You see the shrine kind of like shimmer for a moment before um, this kind of wisp kind of flows out from it and you see a, a, a different looking figure so, somewhat similar in features yet much younger um, where is it? as you see A younger figure of Dimura just kind of make her way, um, stepping out towards the uh, towards you all. Oh, um, hello. I heard my name. <gasps> Hi again. Hello. Wait, she she appears. Like, call. You just come like that. Uh, you sure? Well, you sure it wasn't just your I power was... again, Einar? Maybe I do have powers. Hmm. <laughs> This cheeky smile appears on her face. Well, the thing is, um, I guess I'm somewhat responsible for you lot. So I guess I'm keeping an eye out. Um, I apologize, uh, Damien, for what transpired. I know it's probably quite a shock to you. Um... Is, uh... Who are you? I'm Timira. Uh, do I rec- would I recognize? Um... Of you as a... Yeah, roll me a religion check at advantage. Mm. Wow. Come on. It's good enough. You would know that Demira is um, the demigod of death, as she's rather n not per se an evil. There's not really all, all the gods of the pantheon aren't per se evil in nature. Any evil gods are either forgotten old gods that are kind of worshipped in secret, but um, she is the basically the aspect of death the one who transitions those who have died into the afterlife. Candy's gonna start approaching her with her arms outstretched. She gives you a hug as she kind of walks up towards you. Uh, Demira. Ah, uh, yes. Not to bother you, because I know you've gone out of your way to come here. Uh, one of those spirits got away. Is there anything you can do about that? Just so it doesn't terrorize the countryside? I'll take care. Thanks. Hmm. And she just kind of looks over towards the direction, and she just kind of snaps her fingers for a moment. Done. 
So can you teach us that? Perhaps in a few hundred thousand years or something like that. A few hundred thousand years? Well, um... That's the schedule exactly. might be clear. Um, I'm sorry. I I don't know the uh, uh, pro protocol uh, when talking to um, the demigod. Um, why am I uh, here? Did I did I die in my sleep? No, no. It's okay. This is very confusing, and it was very confusing for the rest of you. Um, I'm sure when you all arrived. You all have... Well, you've inherited the power of one of the omens. Uh, I'm guessing I recognize that. Uh, that. Roll me a religion check. Okay. Just a straight roll. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I got a plus six. I have expertise in it. Come on. That's cute. You're gonna jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake story. You've heard of the omens. That as, makes sense. As they kind of like, you know that there's a variety of different guilds based around the seven virtues and the seven sins, but you're not entirely. You've heard folk tales of like, oh, the omens are supposed to be some sort of like powerful thing, but. You've never really given it too much thought. A lot of the figures have kind of like... It's a lot of folklore. Okay. The, I mean, that makes sense for what David would think. But also... There's like a demigod in front of him. Yeah. Who Candy um, is hugging. Yeah, they're physical. Um... Okay, uh, he, he would like take a breath and say, uh, um, okay, uh, sure, uh, okay, um, why couldn't I, he just doesn't, he, he stops talking and then just seems to like be staring at the ground with his like hand in front of his mouth as he thinks. There is... You're all gathered here because generally a group is needed um, when a great threat starts to loom over the world. Um, I've been tasked to, I guess, guide you all. It's not immediate at the moment, but um, there'll be a time when you all will need to save the world from a great danger. Perhaps several times. Uh. But for the moment, um, I guess what you should begin are doing is perhaps heading towards a larger city. Somewhere where you can find out information and perhaps make a start into uncovering your powers, I suppose. You know, I just had an idea. Hmm. I've heard of guilds throughout the land. Perhaps we should start a guild. Looks over at Candy. Guild of the Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's immediately thinking it over. The Cupcake Brigade Guild. I already <laughs> regret my, uh... Idea. You could I do that. be a little small for a guild. Um, although that does draw attention to you a lot. And, well... Which I'm not sure is something that we are all going to want. At least not yet. Oh, really? Yeah, probably. Well, the I guess. way that I see it is, if we're going around adventuring and doing great deeds for cities, we're gonna get acknowledgement either way. 
a matter yeah, of time. To expedite the process is dangerous, especially... I mean, you remember what happened with Nathan, correct? Oh, I'm sure that was just a one-time thing. Did something uh, happen? I, I feel like somebody nothing... was a little too liberal with the information they gave him. One of our Not... best friends turned out to be a bad person. It was kind of sad. Uh, okay. Nothing particularly um, worthy of concern. I should let you all know. All we maybe. need to do is start a smithing guild. Yes. Sir. I think you're the only smith here, Honor. I'm more of a painter myself. Ahem. Oh, sorry, Kat, are you a smith? Guild? Yes. I did she not know that. Nail. I made oh, a square. That is amazing. <laughs> uh, Damien is going to grab onto his uh, amulet and say a quick uh, prayer uh, to give himself guidance um, as he tries to remember any information about like so he knows that these things are full uh, from his perspective he's always thought of them as folkloric but there's like a demigod in front of him telling him it's true so he's yeah. gonna tr try to like see if he remembers any of those stories from folklore that uh, okay about might be helpful the at the moment yeah like have it like, me like, me a history or religion check your choice okay uh let's go to religion there you go okay there you go. some of the stories you've heard before um you've heard that some of the demigods usually uh, used to be omens themselves and it's always this power that kind of ushers forth them for for them to have a greater chance of making a name for themselves to basically it's not guaranteed just because you've received a power like this this power doesn't mean you're guaranteed to live a long life or to, um, you know, make a name for yourself. But it's this power that gives you the chance to, that gives you the ability to basically fulfill surpass. a destiny. Okay. Yeah, sur surpass a lot of other people although you don't necessarily need to have this power to to be um powerful a lot of yeah people have definitely been able to do other things but um yeah. it helps it definitely does help okay yes. that's definitely how damon would be thinking about it um so he would nod um okay um what do you call it? The uh, uh, Scrivener's Guild. Um, if we get to a big enough city, I could... Um, I mean, is there anything specifically that we're um, looking for? Um, well, nothing in particular. Currently, we are just all taking jobs. Yeah, we're just kind of wander around being adventurers at the moment. Helping people. Yeah, that's right. Never hurts to help the people along the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Ah. Okay. This is. He pinches himself again. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, uh, is there, um, Demir, is there anything specifically that we should be looking for? I guess I should probably give you a direction. Um, there's a few things. There's uncovering 
your next... Your next steps towards unlocking your powers. You could also look for a place to, you know, build up a fort or something. Some abandoned castle or whatnot. Um, we can be kings and queens? Candy, you're the queen of cupcakes. <gasps> I'm honored. No, like, clutches her chest. Licorice is your badge of honor. You know what, Candy? Maybe we can get Einar to make it like a cupcake crown. <laughs> Immediately looks at Einar with <laughs> big sparkly eyes. Damien quickly uses a message towards Einar <laughs> and just quickly says, And now you're entertaining her. <laughs> Einar will reply to the message, You know, better to keep them happy. <laughs> she just does a, a, a quick scoff to herself. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Brian? <laughs> oh, I, I was just going to say, Damon would be looking at all of you as if you had grown a, like a, a another head. Because there's a <laughs> demigod in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trading her like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Technically, we're all some type of peculiar. Especially oh Mr. Gosh. Glowy Hands. Oh my gosh, I just realized something, guys. What's that? Yeah? We didn't introduce Damie to the leader of our party. Damie, meet, and she'll gesture to the empty space beside her. Sil, our leader. I don't ever remember agreeing to that. If Evelyn could shrug with her eyes, she would do so in the direction of Damien. It's an eye roll. That's what, what you're looking for. No, it's deeper than that. <laughs> it's deeper it's a, it's than that. It's a steady that. stare of just sadness. <laughs> uh, don't worry about uh, 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 our quote-unquote leader is uh, rather quiet and hard to see. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Candy Amelia looks off to her, her, her sides squinting. He does not look like that. Don't be mean. You know, Damien, it must have been a hell of a night. Perhaps we should return to Offset and get some sleep because I know I spent most of the day forging an axe. Yeah, probably a good idea to get some rest. I mean, it's getting late. It must be like 2 or 3 in the morning right now. And I'm Next sure Demira crowd. has things better to do than watch us fools. I could use some rest. Little did I not know that when he's drunk off of his, well, canter, uh, he can be a bit of a loud snorer. Looks over at Aino. <laughs> also looks. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've never heard myself snore. <laughs> Must be true. Honestly, it'd be kind of impressive if you could hear yourself. No one's ever complained about it before. <laughs> well, to be fair, Evelyn does have musical ears. So, so has this got like a melody-like like snore? <laughs> um, you know what a cacophony is, right? I've heard of it. <laughs> Sarcophagus. She does a very flourishing, uh, flourishing gesture over towards Einar after uh, Marcus replies with, I guess. Precisely. Einar blinks. <laughs> No one else has complained. Nope. What do you mean by that? No one's ever complained. Is it your first time sleeping by someone? Not quite. Hmm. Did the others have earplugs? <laughs> no. Um, Not that he's aware of. <laughs> Should we get going? Oh, yeah, yeah, l l let's get going. I suppose it's like... By the way, can you see in the dark there, my friend? Uh, you're talking to Damien? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he would uh, clear his throat. Um, uh, a, a bit, it's... it's. Uh, I mean, you, you're shining a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it, Marcus. I have we'll just torches if you need one. You can hold my hand if otherwise. <gasps> Let's all hold hands. Oh, 
hands a hand-holding train. Sounds like a fine idea. <laughs> Would you be fine with that? I will Mr. hold on to my shield and weapon in case we get uh, ambushed. Yeah, Damien would nod to everyone. Um, suggestions for perhaps where you'd like to travel next. The four closest cities, um, in order of which is the closest, is uh, Justice Landing, uh, Arkvale, Excelsior, and uh, Tidecrest. Excelsior? What kind of a name is that? I was just about to say for justice. Uh, can you type the list out? Because I couldn't <laughs> catch all of them. That's fine. I'll, I'll Sounds that. like something some old man would come up with. Uh, also, do I recognize any of those four cities? You recognize... Yeah, you... Um... Roll me a history check. I think it sounds lovely. Definitely a place to check out, I suppose. Uh. Oh, God! Oh. Okay. <laughs> And that one was to the, the, okay. the oh history God. check was to <laughs> determine how well you know it. You would know the names probably. You would probably study extensively a map of um, the region. Um, but Excelsior is the capital of the Warforged. It is a very advanced city in terms of technology. Um, it basically, if you've played League of Legends, it looks like Zorn. Um, Tidecrest is a, uh, fishing city, also Chimera, um, towards the, basically, um, the western coast. Um, Arkvale is an Orobani city, known as the Floating City, because it's basically... It hovers over a giant, and I mean absolutely massive chasm, and it's just kind of held suspended up in the air. Um, home to the air genasi. And Justice Landing is a neutral city, um, known as the City of Kindness. Oh. <laughs> Nani? Turns to and, candy. Uh, <laughs> but, um,. What city That's is you the best know. forges and smiths? Um, uh, uh, oh. oh, go on. Uh, uh, Damien would very awkwardly um, say, uh, um, sorry, uh, it's uh, probably Excelsior, I think. But, I mean, mm. I'm, not, I'm not a Demi god. Well, I mean, um, uh, do you know Miss... Uh... Fire Champion of Excelsior. Hmm. <laughs> By any chance, uh, do you know, uh, by any chance there, Miss uh, Demira, whether one of these cities needs uh, any assistance at the moment, or is it kind of just like Blind Lux uh, Gopher? I mean, I'm sure all the cities usually need assistance with things. Because um, that's true. I kind of like going to the neutral city myself if I'm going to put my vote in. I would have to go with Arkvale. It sounds very interesting. No, I'll go with whatever, what everyone else likes. I, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I would, uh, people would take too kindly to seeing me in Arkvale. Oh, no. See some new clothes. That's all Why it that? takes. Well, I mean, I, isn't it obvious? Hey, I'm a fucking Chimeran. Is that a bad thing? To some people, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of tension going on there. Oh, well, I'm sure uh, she'll look at uh, Damon. I'm sure if you be really, really nice to them, they'll see that they're not all bad, and then that you all can be friends. If only everyone had a refreshing view, as you do, Candy. Well, in any like case, water? um, yeah, I'd say so. Water's good for you. Yes and no. No value, but it's also what kind of keeps you alive, so... Can I get the... Where's the world map? <laughs> you don't have one. Ouch, Judah. <laughs> you need to buy one. 
I'm gonna buy I... you to get back to the city. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... I... I, I stand behind Evelyn. <laughs> uh, well, the decision with... doesn't need to be made tonight. We should all sleep on it. After all, it is a big choice. I guess that's... Th th that's fair. Let's head back to the inn and get ourselves some rest. Yeah, we'll wake up, get some vittles, and then we can uh, decide where to head out in the morning. Sounds good to me. After all, the obvious choice may not be the best. There's, there's a, there, is there even an obvious choice out of the four? <laughs> I just like Artfield because it floats. I mean, I'd have I, to admit, I wouldn't mind getting a painting of it. I like Personally, all of them. I think the obvious choice is the neutral city for all of us. Well, but... I think that seems like the most logical explanation myself, I agree. But that doesn't mean it's the best choice for us to go to. We should learn a little more about the cities. Uh... Get, get a map. Figure out where they are. Would I be allowed, given that Marcus is a wanderer from his master, making a history check if he's heard anything about the city specific? Um, yeah, sure. Nope. nope. <laughs> but my, I still did better than is... the freaking cleric. <laughs> my history check get, get me anything? I kind of just rolled it on. Uh, what, what, what was the history check for? Just standard information about those cities um or anything a little for you interesting. it's a little bit harder since you are from the north in a small town and I this is it. i'm a country bumpkin <laughs> so is marcus but he's a well-traveled country bumpkin <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a shame that my my mentor never told me about the outside world too busy forging weapons. Why don't Forge we just play any, mini miny, mo, and then whichever one wins, we can just go to the other ones another time. Actually, you know what I got? My, you know what could be even more fun, Candy? Is okay. we can put the map up on the wall, blindfold you, and just spin you around and like you pin the tail in the city. Oh, oh, I want to do that one though. That sounds like fun. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea. You're probably not even going to get one of the cities. <laughs> what I just like, like I will a keep trying until I do. Yeah, you, you, like, list the four cities, and you, like, pin the tail in the name we're going to go for. Why would you spin her around if you're going to blindfold her? Makes it more fun. <laughs> what if she stabs somebody? I won't stab anyone. I only do that if it's on purpose. <laughs> well, Tamira, thank you for the information. Is there anything else that we should know? Um... I don't think so. I'm still Very trying well. to wake up that girl that, um, traveled with you, Lord. She... I was about to ask about that one. Alexander seems to have, well, been recalled. Yes. Well, um, seems like. Well, um... Just part of some demigod game? Not particularly, I wouldn't say that, but Lyceria seems to have other things for him, and, well, he's a devout follower of her, so I'm not surprised he left. Well, can't win them all. It's been said that his omens are predestined to some sort of um, larger thing. Well, maybe his just wasn't with us. We're not gonna come crossing swords against him in the future, are we? I would doubt it. We're his best friends. He would never. Though, that is a very good point. I suppose it depends on whether or not his destiny uh, clashes with ours. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, well, anyway, thank you for your time, Demira, and thank you for coming here. Maybe try some smelling salts. I've tried a lot. Um, she's not waking up. up. She seems to be in a coma. Hmm. You know, my master, when, when I was having trouble. Fair enough. You know, my master, when he tried to get me out of bed, he'd take me up and throw me in a river. That always woke me up. 
You know, I heard a story once about a maiden who slept for too long and took true love's first kiss to wake her. I don't know where you'd find such a thing, but... Should we all kiss her? <laughs> kind of like, give it a shot, see if any of us are the right one? <laughs> exactly! I mean, it might I'm be worth a try. Comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I mean, forget I said anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we should without their permission, though, Candy. It is a little rude. <laughs> oh, that's fair. All right. By the way, can you toss me a cup? Oh, of course. Reaches in, tosses the cupcake. <laughs> can I make a roll to try to catch it? DM? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I roll. <laughs> dex save, I guess. It'd be a dex, It'd be a dex check, yeah. Yay! Yeah, you catch it. Catch it with her mouth. Way to go, Candy! Get better at that! I love this time! Yeah! High fives. I'm beginning to head back onto Outset, though. Mm hmm, let's go home! Yeah, we should get going home! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of will start munching and then kind of look at Marcus and, uh, and then glance over at Damien and then back at Marcus. Just like, also, did he say yes or no to the cupcake thing? I'm not sure. But Damien, did you want a cupcake? Do you want two mm. cupcakes? Uh, uh, no, I'm, mm. I'm alright. Are you sure? They got frosted on them. <laughs> They're really uh, good. I'm, I'm sure. Let's see, we got Evelyn chocolates and red velvets. He just starts pulling out all the various cupcake <laughs> flavors. Evelyn uses message towards uh, Damien and will just very kindly say, It's faster if you say yes. Ominous. <laughs> oh, Damien will sigh and nod and say, uh, call out to them. Uh, sure, I'll, uh, I'll take... Some. Uh, <gasps> Marcus, give me some. Oh, here we go. Here's a blue bear, and here's a red velvet. Yeah, here's a chocolate. He just starts handing it. Got... <laughs> she'll, <laughs> she'll, with an armful, run over to Damien and shove one of them into his mouth and then hold out the rest for him to hold. Damien will absolutely not allow you to put one in his mouth. He will pull away. Is that contested? <laughs> Are you going to grapple with a cupcake? <laughs> I guess if if Candy's gonna try and force the cupcake into his mouth, then then there needs to be a contested athletics versus acro or athletics check from Damien. Rip. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus, poor Brian. Candy wrestles the cupcake and trying to shoves it into your mouth, and she manages to do so. She immediately just like watches, like why? She's like, it's really good, right? Uh, he takes it out of his mouth and says, uh, sure, yeah. Evelyn stumbles is, after. Is he telling the truth? Absolutely not. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't, he hasn't tasted, he, he just, he hasn't taken a bite out of it. Okay, so if he hasn't taken a bite out of it yet, then Ken just kind of gives a bit of a pout, but then shakes it off and smiles. She's like, it's alright, try it when you're hungry then. And then stop, continues walking. I know I'll walk aside Damien at some point. You know, if you don't want those, you can just give them to me. Uh, sure. Um, and he will hand it over. Evelyn just kind of points towards the messed up cupcake now, and it's just... Um... And then looks towards Einar, who didn't seem to be worried that this was just in another person's mouth, and just quietly nods to herself and continues walking. Off ahead, you just hear the distant voice of Candy saying, He does not look like a dying radish! <laughs> Einar, Einar looks at the, the messed up cupcake a moment. This one you can keep. I was worried you'd say that. <laughs> hey, take it. I'll just... never eat the others. <laughs> yeah, he'll uh, he'll start eating the one that was in his mouth. Okay. 
I assume you all eventually make your way back towards this town and into the inn. Yeah, we make our way back to the inn, yeah. Okay. I assume you're all heading straight to bed. Yeah, I, probably. Yeah, Einar is. I mean, I have to get a room, but yes. <laughs> yes. Um, you could, yeah, you, you can purchase a room. Okay, how much will it cost for at least a night? It is a... A uh, single gold piece. Okay. Damn, that's expensive. <laughs> It, it's it's a modest in Damn. If it includes meals and everything, that's probably why. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he'll pay. Um, head upstairs to his room to clean himself off <laughs> and clean his clothes. Okay. You all eventually get your rest, and... Um, it, is it possible if Evelyn could actually drop by Damien's after um, the general lot of everyone goes to their rooms? Hello? What? What was that? Sorry. Oh, I was Hello. asking if uh, maybe Evelyn could actually drop in on Damien uh, after everybody kind of returns to their rooms. Sure. Damon, you would probably hear a knock on your door. Yeah. Uh. Okay, Damon. Damon, yeah. Damon would head over. Probably still. Uh, I mean, like, how long would uh it have taken for <laughs> Evelyn to come? Ah. Uh, she would have waited maybe a solid uh, fifteen or so minutes before, as everybody had kind of went off to their own individual rooms before heading over to his okay. he probably would have taken his coat off but uh, still been dressed for the most part yeah. Uh, he yeah he opened the door um yes uh hi uh hi and um, as for that case, yeah, her her leather jacket is off too. She's just wearing um, a black shirt um, revealed underneath. And uh, may I come in? Oh, uh, sure, of of course. Um, and he would uh, open the door. Uh, is there a desk in the room? Yes, yes, there is. Okay, so on the on the desk, he would have had. Uh, uh, a couple, like, basically a, a set of calligrapher supplies set out uh, with uh, some parchment on the desk. She would quickly kind of scan over them on a passing glance. Is there anything on them? Or... Um, no, not really. He would have just... It seems like he would have... Uh, it's more so that this is like a routine kind of thing. Like, there's nothing actually like... Yeah. There's, Nothing written out or anything, just... Okay. Well, I guess, um... I guess Evelyn would just kind of look over towards him, and it's just... Hi, yeah, um... So I just... I suppose I just wanted to check in on you, um... It is admittedly a little rattling, especially with how you kind of came into this entire, um... Uh, well... Party of ours... Yeah, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot. I think uh, so. Um, we were similar, in a way, um, attacked by weird, uh, well, I suppose in your case it was more akin to shadows and undead, but even then, uh, weird supernatural creatures that uh, had kind of chased us afterwards, so... If I can provide you any solace, that your experience wasn't exactly the most abnormal. Um, yeah. I, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but uh, given uh, given what we seem to be, I don't think just because we've shared an experience makes it any less abnormal. <laughs> she kind of almost... Um, 
tilts her head almost a little bit thoughtfully at that um, before she kind of shrugs with a bit of a nod. It's just, yeah, well, I suppose. It depends on who you are. Um, I take it you're used to a lot slower speeds than this. Um, uh, I don't know if I'd say what I would say slower speeds. Um, maybe uh, different kind yeah. of stress. Ooh, shit. Um, then I guess this is a different kind of stress. How so? Um, well, <sighs> um, nobles and merchants tend to, uh, expect a lot of you, um, when you're looking over contracts for them and writing, um, stuff. Hmm. Well, um. I suppose I'll just cut down to the chase, because I admit you had piqued my curiosity when I had first seen you. Um, I was wondering, have you found your manifestation quite yet? Um, I... Give me yourself a quick look over. Uh, I was... I have been, um... You, do you mean my... And he lifts up his uh, right hand. It's still gloved. Um... Well, what's underneath the glove? Uh... The, uh... Spell mark. Uh, oh, oh, um... No, uh, you see... And... In... In advance, sorry for lying to you. And she goes ahead and begins to pinch off her gloves um, with each finger before eventually she pulls out the entire thing. <coughs> and before you, you see what seems to be a perfectly fine hand. Um, but notably, on that same pointer finger, that actually upon before she had taken off the glove, it was notably actually shrunken back down. Um, but once it kind of peels off, the rest of her hand, of course, is... Simple dark skin, nothing out of the ordinary, but then, on her pointer finger, it is this blackened, almost desiccated skin with what seems to be this almost supernatural pink, almost scythe, like almost bladed color, um, that is highlighted in a very uh, light pink, and can actually be seen to almost visibly be coursing with some sort of light within it. Um, like blood, but energy. And, um... She kind of moves a finger and the lot of her hand all together kind of in unison before kind of closing her hand and uh, putting it kind of behind her back. This would be an example of a manifestation. Sorry, I'm not too happy with mine. Uh, huh. The, the others all have things like this? Yep. Well... I know this is a little more specific, I suppose. Uh, his, in comparison to, I suppose, the likes of myself or um, or Marcus, it's a bit harder to notice, I suppose. And if you are a woman like the rest of us, that means to mean that you have one as well. Do I? Does Damien feel anything different or changed about him physically? You're muted, by the way, Storm. Oh. Change, change from what? Well, his manifestation. Have, yeah, his manifestation. Oh. I don't believe uh, we about that from what it's been hearing. No, to sound like. I don't think we did <laughs> talk about that. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll probably need to discuss what that is. All right. I forgot to add that. Yeah. But um, there's an aesthetic effect that comes along with the okay. ability as well. 
but I guess um, at seeing his apparent confusion, he kind of she just kind of backs away a little bit. It's just All right. Um, well, <laughs> I mean, it can manifest in quite wild ways. I mean, Candy's is a sort of tattoo thing. Um, so really, it can be all sorts of ways. In fact, um, who knows? Maybe it does come off a little bit later. We'll see, I suppose. But um, I supposedly just wanted to check on you. Um, other than, of course, being curious, I was a little bit worried that our uh, demeanor may have been a bit unsettling. Uh, no, I uh, I get it. Um, I mean, you've, you've all been at this longer than I have, I guess. Not very long, but I would say that we've adapted for the most part. I hate nods at that. That's, uh... Ah, well, hopefully I adapt uh, quickly, I guess. Well, yeah, there are admittedly a few pressures with everything. I try not to think too much about our apparent destiny or whatever, but... You can only ever take things stride by stride, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what... Do you... know what your omen is? Um... She just kind of scratches her face with almost this uh, almost shy demeanor to herself. Uh, not entirely, no. Uh, I suppose I can take guesses, Ganders, but, I mean, from what at least Demira has said, it's supposed to be something that can manifest uh, more so in one's own personality, but I guess I have a bit of difficulty figuring out exactly what mine could be. Um, the others, well, they're frankly a bit more uh, strong in personality than I am. Uh, Candy's really unabashed and nice, and Marcus is probably the most gung-ho individual I've ever met, and, well, I don't know too much about smithing, but I don't believe that's something that somebody can just spend that much time on. <laughs> but who would I know? Of course, um... Do you know if this, uh, if Offset has, uh, a, a, a library, perhaps, or a, mm. a guild hall or something? It is admittedly a smaller town in comparison. I don't believe it would have too much, would it? Yeah, it's a small town. It probably has, it might have a small library. Uh, you know, there was a decent amount of books in, um, like on the bookshelves of um, when you guys went to the town hall. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fairly small town. No big libraries or anything. No vast like and libraries of knowledge like a city would have. She would just reply with just straight up just um, nothing in particular that I know of. Why? Uh, I guess I was... Uh, hoping to see if they're... I mean, I don't know, I'm used to... I'm used to reading everything from a, from a book. Uh, I thought this was all just folklore. Oh no, trust me, I've... I, admittedly, was a bit of a... Not so much a scholar, but I... I did my research with a number of things, and... Yeah, well, this came to a bit of a surprise to me as well, but I hope you can at least find some solace in knowing that you're not exactly alone in this whole experiencing and feeling things out sort of thing. We're all kind of finding out together, and whereas Demira seems to be a bit more knowledgeable in comparison to the lot of us all, um, I'm sure if you have any questions, the lot of us all would be happy to uh, maybe educate you a bit more. I know I can try. She kind of places a rather earnest hand on her um, on her chest. Um. Uh. Yeah, I would uh, appreciate 
This is, uh, I don't know. This is just a lot, I guess. Well, hopefully a night of sleep will uh, help you in all of that. <sighs> hopefully. Going to be all right? Uh, he would nod. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, phew, I guess so. Yeah, I'll be, I'm fine. She kind of gives um, a bit of a knowing shrug and kind of says, if you're, if you're not, you'll know you'll be, you know? Ah, <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm uh, sorry, I just, I'm, uh, I'm used to being, Processing. yeah, I'm used to being behind the curtains, uh, I guess, uh, to find out that I'm somebody is odd. I'm sure you'll figure it out. We all have to eventually. I guess so. Uh, for the sake of the world, right? No pressure. She... Hmm. She gives a bit of a smile, but it is actually a bit more of a sad smile in comparison. And... I suppose with that, she... kind of nods to herself before kind of in a almost weird way she just says well you're the one who controls this ship at least it's in your hands you make of it as much as you want to I guess I'll have to try right her smile turns into something a bit more chipper and just, that's a spirit. <sighs> but I should really be getting out of your hair. Um, Damien Vale. Uh, Esquire, right? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I don't particularly have any uh, fancier titles, but um, just Evelyn. Or Eve, by ex extension, is nice. Nice to meet you. Uh, Damon would, uh, smile. It's, uh, uh, nice to meet you as well. Uh, Eve, uh, he, he kind of says it very awkwardly, trying, like, trying it out. <laughs> she, she lets out what seems to be a bit of a silent chuckle to herself before, uh, with a, a with a bit of a jovial, um, small laugh, she kind of opens and proceeds to almost in the motions of closing the door she just kind of lets out a little night mr vale and you can, the door. he oh. would call out uh you can um i think since we're all gonna be traveling together uh you you can call me uh damien it's that's uh fine she's already closed the door but you would hear inside of your head all right then. Night, Damien. I'm guessing this is a message. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Damien. Uh, good night, Eve. And that would be the end of day. Okay. If anyone else has anything to do. Yes. Okay. Um. Once uh, she's in her room and has closed the door, uh, Candy will hop up on her bed, uh, sit crisscross applesauce, and cup her hands in front of her as a like little seating area. So, what do you think? Of? Well, all of them. 
I think you've heard me express many times what I think. Here's a little rule of her eyes. Well, yeah, but I mean, past the initial dislike, since you don't really like anyone, so, um, I guess more in depth for each of them. More in depth for each of them. Well, Marcus seems very loud, obnoxious, annoying. Um, top, multiply that by perhaps 20. And yes, that's Marcus. Um, hmm. Evelyn. She gives me very bad vibes. Always seems to be... I don't know. It's weird. Very weird. You sort of gotten that too, huh? Hmm. And it kind of gives like a nervous quirk of her lips. I mean, sometimes she seems to find me funny. Um, but other times, I think she's kind of annoyed by me. Did you not see what she did to, well, that other annoying man who betrayed you all? Yeah, that was a little weird, but I mean, okay, maybe maybe just a little creepy. But I mean, I'm, uh, she had her reasonings in the end. She was right. I mean, I thought he was going to be a nice new friend of ours, but um, I was wrong. You were right, as always. And Einar is so boring, <laughs> wanting to smith all the time. Oh. Oh, come on! He was really nice to give me this new axe! Don't you like it? And she'll show the axe. I sat there for so long, just watching. There was nothing to do. It was boring. Well, if you wanted to and join that's in... Smith. That's Smith. Oh, that's Smith. The Smith was nice! He liked my square! Nice. Okay, what, but what was wrong with the Smith? He was definitely, um... He definitely didn't like your smithing. Yeah, but, I mean, he was nice enough not to say so. Hmm. And, um, that, uh, that new fellow, he's, he's from Fortitude, so I think that's enough. What's wrong with Fortitude? It's the capital of the Chimerans. They're evil people. Oh, <gasps> really? He seems so nice. Well, Chimerans are just... Ugh. I don't like... <laughs> to be fair, you don't really like anyone, though, so... That's beside the point. She <laughs> <sighs> gives this long sigh and goes to rest her back against the wall of the bed. Can you be honest with me, Syl? Hmm? Do you... Do you think these ones like me? <sighs> I think they do. Really? Even Evelyn, who seems to find me annoying sometimes? I mean... If you really want to know, just ask them. I don't want to ask them anything. I don't want to talk to them, ever. <laughs> I mean, I sort of wish you could. I mean, on one hand, I really do like it that you're sort of like my super secret special friend that only I can hear, but... At the same time, I mean... Don't you ever get lonely? With just nope. me? Nope. Really? Nope. <laughs> Why is that? Because you're all annoying. <laughs> oh, very annoying. <laughs> but I'm not annoying, right? 
Well, I mean, I guess at the very least, um, if it, if I do something wrong and they end up not liking me, also, um, at the very least, we, we still have each other, right? Yes, we, we still have each other. Okay. So, there's no need to be nervous, right? No, there's no need. Okay. And, um, I'm sure I can get on better sides of all of them. I mean, again, I'm, like I said with Evelyn, it might find me a little annoying at times, and I know Einar seems to think of me like a child, like I'm not really smart, um, which is okay. I'm okay to roll with that. Um, Marcus is definitely very hyper and stuff. Um, a little tiring at times to keep up with, but I'm sure I can do it. I just gotta keep going, right? <laughs> Aren't you older than Einar? I think we're the same age. I know, it's a little weird that I... Maybe it's because of my height? Do you think that's it? Hmm. Mm. I think if you punch him really hard, that will show I, him that I, you're not... I, I'm not going to punch him, no. <laughs> no? No, that wouldn't be very nice. Okay. <laughs> and you're not going to punch him when you're in my body, right? No, I'm not. Promise. I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. You know how secret those are. You can't break it. I'll be very mad at you. I know. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Get some rest. Yeah, I'll. I'll try. Thanks for talking to me, silly. Talking to you always makes me feel better. You know, you can always talk. Yeah, I know. <sighs> All right, let's both get some rest. That'd be a good idea. She'll lay down and get ready for bed. Good night, Zell. Good night, Candy. Okay. And with that, you all would wake up the next morning. What y'all do? I am going to the shops. Okay. What remember time? That, remember that video I linked to you a while back? Uh you link a lot of videos. The the one in our personal chat. Mm, I'll have to check. Our private. I'm gonna buy all the shit from that video. We'll worry about that later. But specifically, I'm going for a world map. I suppose with Evelyn's case, I suppose that she would. Is there were there any performance areas within the inn that we stayed in? Is there any what? Performance um, areas, like a stage. Oh, yeah, that that'd be a small stage, yeah. Um, I was thinking of like a situation in which she could maybe perform, but like as she does so, she's just ever so carefully listening out for any murmurs and rumors that may be passing about throughout people. Okay. So you're just gonna perform? Or... Uh, are you doing a performance or no? Yeah. Okay, roll me a performance check and a perception check. Got you. Let's see... There it fucking is. Why did everything suddenly change? What the fuck? That's weird. Oh, that's almost a nat 20. Uh, and... Because I said that, um, of course... Nat 1. Balance things out. There we go. <laughs> so, with your performance, you do manage to... As, what are you doing? Are you singing? Are you playing some uh, in an instrument? or What's your performance? Um, in her case, it would have been a nice and... Rather, since it is the morning, it wouldn't be too particularly uproarious, but it would be a nice and serene melody with her flute. Can I say Candy wakes up really early to maybe... She, well, originally was going to try to pay to get bre uh, breakfast made for everyone, but kind of comes down to hearing that. Yeah. I have no objections. Yee. Kind of pokes her head around at seeing that. What is she playing, you said? Uh, just a very nice, serene melody with a flute. Ah. Uh, 
not wanting to disturb Candy does like a very silent applause. Just barely bring, bringing her hands together, but not really. She looks over your way and sends you a wink. <laughs> she gives an excited wave and then she'll hurry off to the kitchen to I'd pay for also... a large meal to be made for everyone. Also, Marcus is always almost first up because he does his morning exercises first at the crack of dawn sort of thing. So uh, he probably would have been uh, up in his room exercising when he heard the flute. <laughs> he rises as soon as a summer day and falls as late <laughs> as a summer night. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that music being played earlier? What, Evelyn? Wow, that was really good. Why is she so good? So talented? There's so many talented people here. Yeah, I gotta admit, everybody here is quite talented. Yeah, uh, what are you doing up so early? Oh, I was doing my exercises. <laughs> you, you know, gotta get that, gotta get the muscles relaxed. And you'll notice that if you look at Marcus right now, he's like tied weights to his hands and feet. <laughs> really strong. Not really. I'm trying to build on it, but uh, more dexterous. They're just light weights. They kind of help me with my punches. Ooh, got it, got it. Also, um, quick question. Do you happen to have any, um, uh, I don't know if you brought any on you, but, like, um, uh, medicine of sorts? Like, you know, ointment or something like that for wounds? Uh, well, let me check here. Uh, let's see. He starts looking through his kit. I got my mess kit, got my tuner ball. Hmm... Apart from my healing potions, I don't get a lot for actual medication for healing wounds, unfortunately. What you looking for specific? Ah, uh, you know, something for cuts and bruises and stuff like that. I got some bandages. Hmm. One second, I'm gonna check with the staff here. Maybe they have something. Be right back. And she'll of course. rush over. Look for someone who looks like they work at the inn. Uh, are you looking for the innkeeper? Yeah, or anyone who looks like they work here. Either or. Uh, yeah, you can make your way to over towards the innkeeper. Um, same orange head lady that you've been talking to. Uh, hi! Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you! Uh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Hi! Um, do you happen to have any, uh, I don't know, first aid type stuff? Like, um, ointments or, um, uh, creams or anything of the sort for just, you know, cuts and bruises? Um, sure. I have a small poultice for cuts. Is there Is... anything? Um, could I perchance buy it off of you? Um, sure. It's two silver pieces. Oh, thank you. She'll drop a gold piece. Uh, it's, um... <laughs> She's been through this before. I think you've, you've already paid <laughs> access, so she just kind of pockets it and thank you for your generation generosity oh, no. no 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 thank you so much for helping out with all my sudden ideas I really do appreciate it it's alright <laughs> alright um, thank you bye bye and she'll rush out um, while rushing by Marcus she'll say alright I got us looking for I'll be back bye oh, okay. and rush up the stairs uh, can she do a, uh, finding the room that Damien had gone into, could she, like, press her ear to the door and hear if he's awake? Is Damien awake? Uh, yeah, Damien would be awake. I imagine Candy knocking on every door. <laughs> <laughs> She'll give a knock, 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 knock. <laughs> Times 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think Damien would uh, come over and uh, open the door. Um, he he was like obviously he was well well put together than last night, but like he actually looks like he put time <coughs> and effort into uh, putting himself together. Like his hair is combed well and his glasses are clean and not like. A, like all over the place from freaking out and getting attacked. Um, he's also he's still not wearing his uh, jacket because he's just relaxing right now. But he's uh, he would open the door and then look down. Hi, hi, 
Hi, hi. Do you remember me? Of course. Uh, Candy. Yeah, exactly. All right. So uh, she like looks up and down the hallway. Does it look like there's anyone else there? DM? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, noticing that no one else is there, she'll very quietly take out the uh, bottle that she had just been given and hold it out and offering. It's just like, so, um, I figured, well, I sort of, when I get sort of cut up and badly hurt in battle, um, I like to pretend everything's all fine and whatnot, just so people don't worry too much. But it still really hurts, and, I mean, with the battle that happened, you got knocked down and whatnot, so, here. Uh, thank you. Um, you take it. <laughs> she gives a big grin. Yeah, awesome, no problem. Um, so yeah, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. And she, like, puts up, like, a finger up to her lips, like, shh, super secret. Uh, of course, uh, super secret. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, just apply those to any cuts or bruises or anything of the sort that is still hurting from yesterday, okay? All right, bye-bye! She'll run off. Uh, he'll lean out the door and call out, thank you! Turn around, thumbs up. Hopefully, does not fall backwards down the stairs in doing so. Dex, check, dex, check. <laughs> yeah, you don't screw it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Manages to catch herself before she goes stumbling down the stairs. Okay. Einar, what are you purchasing? Well,. Most importantly, a world map. Okay. That would be... A hundred gold pieces. You know, friend, this world map is great. Could we settle for 75 gold pieces? Uh, it, it's... It, at this point, it, this is not a world map. It's just of the... Kashifo region, which is still... Pretty big. Uh, listen here, uh, a lot of time and work has gone into this map. There's a lot of key points. It takes a lot of ink. Yes, yes. So I'm hearing 80. <laughs> Roll me a persuasion check. Solid. I love her character. Uh, yeah, fine, fine. The undead business is kind of. All that undead stuff is kind of. Not brought a lot of people to the town as of late, so I guess I'm still for 80. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, one other thing, and I'll ask you a question. Are there any interesting castle ruins around that you know of? No idea. Hmm. I didn't suspect you were the one to go out and cartographer the place, I guess, or No, explore. I just duplicate maps. I see. Is it true what they say? What do they say? Some of the original maps, they have secret ink on them. You hold them up to the light and see stuff that wouldn't be seen otherwise. Maybe. You ever tried it? Nope. We should try it. Be fun. Maybe. I'll give you five gold if you try it. Why don't you just try it? Well, I assume you sold me a copy, not the original. But, but yes. Well, but this is original. also a copy of the... I, I just... I copied it off a peddler, and now I use this copy to copy to the other copies. <laughs> so it's a copy of a copy. It's a copy of a copy of a, probably another copy of another copy. Well, that's just copy. ridiculous. <laughs> I doubt we're going to see anything interesting here, but 
Sure. And he'll hold it up to the light. Nothing interesting. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Well, thank you for time. Um, I'm gonna go now. Alright. Thank you for doing business with me. Indeed. And I'm gonna head to, uh, I'm gonna head to the, uh, the palace, the keep. Okay. Um, when I'm there, I'll look at the guard and offer him a quick wave and a smile and go, Good friend, do you mind if I use your books? The library, uh, I suppose. What kind of books are you looking for? Mm. Well, I'm mostly learning, wanting to learn about the cities. See, I come from the far north. I don't really know much about <laughs> the south. Uh, Perhaps if there's a idiot's guide. I mean, if 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 Countess Lassine allows you to, then. Oh well, let me speak with her. She is free. Uh, I'll check. Just a moment. Uh, Let her know me. Einar is asking. All right, I will do. He heads on inside. You wait a few moments, and he comes back out. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're free to go in. Thank you. I'll walk on in. Okay. As you make your way inside, then she just um she's currently sitting at like the top staircase where she you know you all had that small performance that you had before, and you can see like the various bookshelves just along the side, and she's currently reading a book at the moment. She looks up at you. Oh, um, Ina, what brings you? Well, I do know that in fact he did tell me, but what kind of books are you looking for? Ah, well, I'd like to learn about a few cities, specifically Arkvale, Excelsior, uh, the neighboring cities. Yes. We're thinking um, about just taking a look around, since we've dealt with your issues, your big issue. I think things are going to be coming to a bit of normalcy for you all here once more. Very well. Um, I have two books here, uh, Justice Landing and Arkvale. Hmm. Could I perhaps purchase them? Purchasing them? Yes. Um... Mm, I could let you borrow them. For how long? For as long as you remain in the city. Uh, town. Alright. Well... If you don't mind, I think I'll read them here, then. As you know, my group can be a little rambunctious, and Indeed, I would like I to focus. Absorb as Feel much free. as I possibly can. Feel free. Uh, would you like some tea? Um, some biscuits, tea. perhaps? I've never had tea before. What kind of tea do you have? Uh, we have, um, some green leaf tea, uh, standard. Um, perhaps, hmm. Sure, take one. Okay. I'll have someone prepare that for you. Wonderful. And she'll, like, um, stand up as she makes her way towards the bookshelves and just kind of runs her finger along the binders. She eventually pulls out one book and then she makes her way towards um, kind of 
a bit lower down as she runs her fingers across again, pulls out another book. Uh, here you go. I know, we'll take the books and thank her, and then he'll kind of look around a moment and reach into his bag. <clears throat> Pull out what looks to be glasses and just kind of fold them behind his ears and put them on. I didn't kinda... realize she had glasses. Uh, they're they're more them. for reading. Nobody ever expects someone of my size to need glasses, but kind of keep it to myself. Very well. I have a few other things to tend to um, stuff to do along with the city need, and all that undead. If you need uh, anybody to get to tall places, let me know. I'm an expert at getting into tall places. I have plenty of cards for that. Mm, fair enough. And this doom. <laughs> he <laughs> chuckles a little. Fair enough. And uh, he'll settle down and read the books, try to absorb as much knowledge as he can. Knowledge! Here in my garage. Here in my garage. <laughs> okay. Uh, while you're doing that, what is everyone else doing? Well, considering he's going to be gone for the entire day, I guess when Marcus has done his exercises and breakfast has been had, he like... But anyway, anybody ever seen Einar? I thought he was going to be like, uh, I thought we were supposed to be discussing where we were supposed to be going today. Right, right, we are. She would have already done finished her, um, finished her performance. I'm assuming that she wasn't able to really pick up much word. Yeah, I mean, you get, gathered a lot of people, but they all seem to be talking about your um, performance and how good it is. Oh. Uh, you've actually managed to make what was the roll again? Yeah, you you've managed to make about sixteen gold just from that performance. Damn! I suppose that is possible. There's there's like yeah. All right. Feels good, man. But also fuck. But also feels good, man. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I suppose in that case, um, after kind of pocketing uh, what she's got, just giving uh, a series of thank yous, winks, and blowed kisses towards those that were kind enough to watch her performance, um, she kind of walks over to the lot of everyone, and uh, or the lot of you two, and, uh, or, I guess, uh, three, because is Damien there with you as well, I would assume? or uh, I was going to say Damien would have come down eventually. Okay. So, but he has been able to catch any of the performance. Tip. Uh, yeah, I guess so. He would have come up, come down probably, like, at the tail end. Hmm. Well, I guess, like, seeing the three of you, then, uh, she would just kind of walk over and, um, seemingly a, a teeny bit out of breath, but, uh, just generally speaking, a little bit what seems to be, uh, eh, tentative, happier. I got, gotta I say, I'm... yeah, I was gonna say, that was an impressive display, Evelyn, one of the best I've heard in ages. <laughs> well, um, your nice paintings and whatnot are definitely your form of art. Uh, this is mine. She does a little, actually, a little flourish uh, twirl of her uh, flute before returning it back in between her hands and kind of almost looks almost expectantly towards Damien. Uh, I, I, I didn't catch all of that. Um, I didn't hear uh, most of it, though, from upstairs. Uh, that was quite good. Um, you, you would do you would do amazingly well in a in fortitude. Hmm. Perhaps I would. She she cracks you a little smile before um, kind of looking over towards the lot and it's just. Uh, I heard you all talking about Einar. Um, what about? Looks to Marcus. To Marcus with Einar? Uh, well, you said something about Einar, right? I was just saying, uh, I thought we were supposed to be discussing, uh, I just wonder where Einar was. Oh, he's he's oh, not here, right? right? right. Wait, what are we, we supposed are... to discuss? Well, about we're... where we're to go, right? Oh, 
Or are we going to blindfold me and spin me and have me stick a knife or something into a piece a uh, place? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Since, you know, it's all going to be random in the end anyways. Apparently there's no one place better than the other at the moment. I suppose. Though, well, I suppose we could always go to Arkville some other time. I just always wanted to see it. Well, I mean, world's a big place, and it's always good to go visit as many places as possible. Yeah, yeah but a flying city. She almost actually has, like, this bit of a, a, a seemingly like almost disappointed look on her face. Question, is it flying or suspended? Because I wasn't positive. Uh, it's basically suspended. Yeah, so it's not a flying city, it's a suspended city. Yeah, but to these motherfuckers, it's flying. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Anything that is in the air for longer than a few seconds is flying. <laughs> Do you wish you could fly, Evelyn? Oh, um... I'm not entirely knowing for sure, but I'm sure that uh, other... And she kind of raises her fingers in the air quotes. Uh, mages are able to produce such effects, but no, it's more so just um, looking at everything from the sky. It puts a new perspective on the world, and well, I suppose that such a city would give me that. Oh, here, here, I can help. Candy will attempt to lift Evelyn just up in the air <laughs> as high arm's length as she can. I feel like she wouldn't expect it so much, so she's just like, oh my. <laughs> There you are! You're higher! Yay! Is it like, um, where she kind of, like, grabs her legs and, like, lifts her up, like, with her back, kind of? Or... No, it's, just... like, just, literally just, like, resting her hands either, either on her, like, her sides or her hips, whichever one, and then just picking her up! Lifting right up! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> and she's just, like, balancing out her weight. <laughs> um, please put me down! Please put me down! Oh, don't worry! I won't drop you! I'm here, though! And she'll... Carefully put you back down. <sighs> how was, how was um, that? Did you like it? You might have, but whatever force ties us down to this... Uh, and she kind of taps her feet twice on the ground. This is... Uh, would have definitely taken me down head first. <laughs> uh. hmm. Marcus, your turn! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Immediately picks Marcus up. <laughs> how do you like it? That's pretty neat! I guess this is how it looks like for Einar! <laughs> oh, true, he's really tall and set you down. Immediately turning to Damon, your turn! Runs Damon over! Damon step back. <laughs> <laughs> Candy's gonna try to make the grab. Is that another contested check? Do you I would assume so if he is stepping away. Oof. Jesus, Brian, you poor bastard. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I so like you today. He's <laughs> the anti Marcus. <laughs> Just like with the other two, holds, uh, rest her hands on his sides, lifts him straight up. <laughs> How do you like it? Uh, can, can you please put it down? Oh, sure, right here. Are you scared of heights? Sorry. Carefully puts him down. I just... I don't really like being touched. <gasps> oh, no, I'm really sorry! It's... it's fine. You, <clears throat> you did enough. Like, rests her hands on either side of her face with a little shocked look. She's like, oh no, now that I think about it, I actually touched you a lot of times. I'm really, really sorry about that. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I will not do it anymore. Crisscrosses her hands behind her back. Uh, Damien nods. Um, he would turn. He would look at everyone. Then and say, uh, "Um, uh, who's the uh, leader in this um, town?" Oh, that'd be the Duchess. Oh, that would be the Duchess. Yeah. Uh. Do you, do you know what uh, her name is? Did we ever get a name, or did we just been called her the Duchess the whole time? I'm pretty sure she introduced herself. She did. My recollection of names is fucking Renisa Lucina. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, Renisa Lucina, yeah. Renisa. Uh, yeah, Duchess uh, Renisa Lucina is her call. I have 
do I know, like do I know the have ever heard of like the Lucine family or of her specifically? Make me make me a history check at disadvantage. Oh boy. It's Brian needs disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the Lassine family, you've heard a little bit of it. It's not that, um, it's not that widespread. Um, you do know one of the, the Harrises does... Is is essentially the um, uh, the countess of a small town? You assume that this is it. Otherwise, they come from um, they come from a family that kind of tends to a larger apothecary's business. Uh, do you mean uh, is she a, actually a countess? Uh, yes. Oh, he was asking the the others. No, since they were saying it, she was a duchess. Was it a countess? I thought she said I thought it was a duchy, but maybe I getting all my stuff mixed up. It's countess. Yeah. No. Suppose, yeah, I suppose it was a countess. Oh, right. I suppose I'm not too familiar with, um, I guess, uh, high, higher forms of power, so it's, uh, it can be a bit confusing at times. Um. Why do you ask, though? Uh, I was just wondering, it might be good idea with, to check with uh, her um, see if I, I'm guessing uh, there must be some kind of connection to uh, nearby towns maybe trade uh, if they do any kind of alchemy here oh you do alchemy oh no um, I just I just know that the uh, family, um, I think the family also does, uh, are known for, al is known for alchemy, huh. I think. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know very much about, uh, the Lucines, Lucines. Well, she never said, but I suppose it couldn't hurt to go ask, uh, get her opinion on things. I mean, maybe she knows something going around we don't. What do you think, Candy? Um, just wide-eyed nods head as if she was, totally understands what this talk was about. <laughs> I agree. Okay, let's go go see the Countess, see if she's got any opinions. Oh, we're going to the Countess? I mean, uh, yes, that's what I agreed on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you coming, Evelyn? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, she seemed to have been a bit distracted for a moment. Um, but uh, she kind of... Uh, I'm sorry, what? No, we're going to go down to the Countess, see if she's got any opinion on our next locale. Uh, that doesn't sound all too bad, but... Um... We haven't exactly communicated all too much with Einar. Perhaps the... No, I do believe that we should all go together. Um, perhaps we should... we should look for him first. That's right. Yeah, we could do that. Well, I mean, I have no idea where Einar is, do you? I mean, God, just I left without... Oh. I have an idea. We all run out in random, completely opposite directions in the city and just scream for him. I believe I have an idea of where he could be. Yeah. He was inquiring about locations before, and he's practic. Yeah. Uh, well, he's kind of the more uh, 
practical person in the group, so... So... Oh, I, so you think you got, like, a, a map or something? Yeah. Or he's at the smith. That is also true. Um, Candy, Marcus, are you... Do you think that the both of you could go and see about the smith, and I will try to check out the shops? Yeah, uh, sure, we could go check out the smith if you want to check the shops. Uh, where do we want to meet up? Back, uh, just want to meet up at the duchesses so we can save some time? Or the countess? Um, yeah, in, in the front of the gates. Um, just try not to cause too many problems for the guards there. I know that that can be somewhat suspicious. Oh, so come, they know us! <laughs> Wait, so if Marcus and I are going to do um, checking the smith, and then you're going to check the shops, what's Steamy going to do? Well, I'm um, supposing she'd um, come with Evelyn. Yeah, Damien, you can come with me if you'd like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Always good to have a buddy system in a city you don't know. That way you don't get lost. <laughs> yes, that way if you do get lost, it's together. Exactly. <laughs> She kind of has, like, a little smile. It's just, I suppose you're right. Yeah, and honestly, and she looks at you, Marcus, and gives you a thumbs up. If Marcus and I ever get lost, I'm sure the two of us with our bright minds could find the way back. Exactly! <laughs> They're gonna get drugged by Oyster. <laughs> <laughs> brightness is in general. To be she kind of gestures loosely over towards Marcus's hands. Go, oh, we'll be fine. <laughs> She uh, does, she just like stifles a small chuckle before kind of um, lightly um, lightly uh, tapping uh, Damien with her elbow. You ready to go? Uh, yeah. Um, actually, uh, give me a second. I I'll, I should get something from upstairs really quick. Oh, um, go on ahead. Uh, we I mean it's early in the day. We have plenty of time. Uh, it'll it'll just take a moment. Um. Yeah. Is uh, it the cupcake? It's it's not the cupcake. Um. I'll be right back. And he will just turn in place and then start walking back upstairs. Candy, do you actually happen to have any more of those cupcakes? <gasps> Marcus. Oh yeah, Talk we got lots. <laughs> Marcus reaches in the bag. What flavor you want? <laughs> Uh, what flavor do you want, Evelyn? Chocolate sounds nice. Toss oh, me a chocolate cup! Here we go! It's underhand toss. <laughs> She's gonna try flourish catching, flourishing <laughs> catch. Uh... Yes! You catch it. <laughs> Does a little twirl and then presents it to you, like offer it, like a ring, like a, like, yeah, like as if dropping to a knee and offering a ring, offers it to you, Evelyn. <laughs> She entertains this and does, uh, places a hand on her chest and does, like, a little slightly exaggerated gasp. Just, my. And will gladly take such before, uh, eating it with just a, a little bit of a pristine. Very much a, she has very much a lot of manners, as it seems. As, uh, she just kind of eats, slightly wipes a little bit at her lips and just, thank you. <laughs> a lot. It's actually really good. Right? So, so good. Hmm. I kind of forgot to eat before I had started to go about this, so I think just a little sugar could uh, help me step up for a bit. Yeah, there's Ew. nothing better than sugar in the morning to wake you up and give you that jump start. Would you say that though, Marcus? Kind of looks at you with like that, like that, like, like a scowl, kind of like a. Now, Evelyn, you gotta make sure you eat. It is important to eat regular diets to keep yourself healthy and regular. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> two ways. Yeah, I suppose she's in a more cheerful mood. It's just... Oh, Marcus, are you saying that you care about me? Well, I care about all my good friends! <laughs> she just kind of has, like, um... She just has, like, this little more pleasant smile. It's just... Well... Kind of takes another bite and swallows afterwards. It's just... I would... I would gladly grab myself a plate. It's just that with everything that has been happening and, well, we're about to leave soon, I don't think that that's possible for me, at least at the moment. I'll just have to make up for it with lunch. Okay, if you think so, but you make sure you get a good heart of meal inside of you. <laughs> All right. I will. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I'm, sure, I'm sure you know better than ever anyone, Marcus. Evelyn has been proven to be very smart and very, um, what's the word? Um, 
uh, responsible, that word, yeah. yeah that is true. He anyway. has, like, this rather kind smile, um, very much seemingly touched by the words that you are saying. Did somebody say, well, shut up, Storm! <laughs> 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 in the corner of my eyes, oyster ball man. Candy immediately ball. feels that tickle for battle. <laughs> <laughs> Her arch nemesis. <laughs> when are you gonna go beat up the fucking like graveyard keeper? <laughs> right? She's <laughs> uh, she's still suspicious of him, but at this point, she's like, I mean, we got everything sorted. If he's evil, well, I'm sure we'll find out later. <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Damien would come down uh, by this point. Uh, he seems to have uh, like he was already like well put together, but he seems to have like put a little more uh, effort, I guess. He seems like he got anxious upstairs and like recombed his hair and everything. Um, and he's carrying a uh, uh, a letter in his hand, um, and he. <sighs> Jesus, I forgot what I was gonna say. Else, uh, but yeah, he would he would come down. Oh, when he when he gets to the group, uh, you would smell uh, the uh, like a, f a faint touch of uh, cologne. Um, not overpowering. Uh, kind of it's something simple, but. Uh, it, it smells good. Well, aren't you dressed up all handsome? Uh, yeah, uh, first impressions to, uh, uh, nobles, uh, always are important. Really? Oh, oh I suppose so. He kind of scratches okay. his chin. <laughs> Kitty looks down at her own clothes and then over at you, Marcus, is just like, should we have gotten dressed up? Well, I don't know. My master always said that nobles are just like everybody else, but one pant and leg on at a time sort of thing. Oh. Oh, jeez. I should go shopping sometime for something more pretty. You know, we are going out to the shops, maybe. Yeah, you want to see if we can find you something there, like, uh, I don't know, a dress? Uh, you wear dresses, Kitty? I don't mean to presume. I thought you two were heading to the Smiths. Oh, that's yeah. right. Hey, well, she and she also with what Marcus says. She looks down at the dress that she is wearing in the back of him curiously. Well, is it a dress <laughs> or a? I, I always thought it was a shawl more than a dress. There's. Yeah, the thing over her shoulders is a shawl, but underneath that is a dress. Okay, I just see the like, upper body part. I wasn't positive if that was a dress or to just be fair, a. <laughs> how much does Marcus actually know about girls to begin with? <laughs> I mean, considering he comes from a small punk downtown where most people he knew were related, for him, most women, he like, he knows females wear dresses and stuff. He just doesn't know a lot about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that's Mark... level official. <laughs> He's like... She kind of, like, taps her chin thoughtfully. Hmm. Yeah, well, um, I suppose if we have free time, I can definitely do that. I mean, but what, uh, it looks like Marcus curiously. Do you know what a pretty dress really looks like? I don't uh, really I, know. I mean, I've seen them around. I mean, I've painted quite a few in my time. Like, you know, ladies and stuff have had paintings done from a master, so I, I got an eye for it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure with your artist's eye we can find something. Yeah, I mean, we get something to go nice with that white hair, green complexion of yours, get the right kind of color palette. It's not white, it's blonde, right? That's blonde, right? It's white. Oh. She kind of like looks, wipes her eyes, and just. Oh, it must have been because of the. Ah, uh, right. I must have been tricked by the light that you emanate when you do the thing. <laughs> I, don't... I mean, it used to be brown. Ah, uh, no kidding. Really? Yeah. And then sort of, uh, it just like taps her chin. I think around like three, late three, four, when I was four or something like that, it started, uh, when it started to grow, it growed white. Kind of like bleached in the sun sort of thing? I guess so. That must be it. Uh, could be. Who knows? Mm. Well, there's all sorts of weird things that have been going on with a lot of us all, you know? <gasps> Maybe it's Perhaps magic it hair. Magic hair with healing properties. 
<laughs> you know, that'd be interesting. Like, if you cut off a lock, it'll, like, revive somebody from the dead sort of thing? <gasps> that explains so much! Maybe that's why I don't have any scars. Well, Isn't maybe. That easy? Don't you think you would need a song for something like that? Hmm. Taps her chin thoughtfully. I mean, there's sort of different ways for healing, right? I mean, yeah, I suppose so, but, you know, making the clock reverse or something like that would be kind of weird without anything else. Hmm. Crosses her arms, tilts her head as if, like, this is a conundrum. Ah, uh, my satisfaction of bringing Rapunzel references has been confused. <laughs> and simply very confused again at what is happening. <laughs> but Evelyn will kind of look over towards uh, Damien and flash a bit of a smile. Is just ready to go? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, Ken, oh, I suppose we should get going. By the way. Oh. What would you say? Sorry. What was that, Judah? Nice fragrance, by the way. Uh, thank you. I, yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> Does he seem rather nervous that she noticed? Um, it it seems like mo more like uh, like he knows that's the purpose of it, but it like it feels weird to him that someone pointed it out. <laughs> <laughs> Something actually exists past its functional purpose. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, Candy, you ran ahead you two, Careful, you two don't go capturing the Countess as hard. She gives the, both of you guys, like, little finger guns. I don't think any of us could beat you, Candy. Oh, but no. <laughs> Amelie turns away, flush in the face, but grinning. Well, let's head <laughs> off no, to the Smith, Candy. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be excited to see you again. What's that? I'm sure the Smith will be excited to see you again. <gasps> That's right. I should give him a gift. More you cupcakes. should. More cupcakes, yes. We'll do that. Well, let's get going. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye! Does a little flashing wave as uh, she turns and continues to look off. Candy gives the two a little mwah, 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 and disappears out the door. <laughs> Damien kind of gives a half wave, like, it doesn't even make it all the way up his hand. It's like, it stays at, like, hip level. <laughs> Awkward boy who got it. Marker turns over, gives thumbs up, and his, his thumbs just grow bright as he walks out the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, as that happens, I know. Ah, yes. As you're reading, um, the... Just as landing, um, here's an image of the city. Just as Landing is a city full of um, kindness and mirth, and is it celebrates whichever month's um, holiday it is, it celebrates that throughout the entire month. Oh, so man. the festivities don't... Whereas everywhere else, they would celebrate on the one day. The entire month just consists of that... Um, holiday everyone there is usually extremely cheerful and um they're all very kind to each other and there are certain parts of the city where there's a lot of people who aren't just really into those festivities and all that sorts of things and try to keep a serious face on and handle all the business side of things but for most of the commoners, for people who work in the markets, a lot of social type businesses or um, goings on around the city, it's generally a very happy um, city. There's fireworks, there's um, festivals with um, circus acts and all that sorts of things. And there's a decent amount of Bard's Colleges there. Um, usually most cities just have one. Just as Landing has three. Did... As for... Go on. 
on a meta level here, did a certain tiefling come from that city? Certain tiefling? A blue tiefling? Uh, oh, 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 I Damien. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he did. He we did. Burn the city. Fucking destroy. <laughs> Um. <laughs> so sorry. Continue. <laughs> I was so confused for a moment. I was like, "What are you referring to?" I was like, "Ah, yes." The other um, Damien. <laughs> yes, the other Damien. Oh, that's very right. okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> never crossed my mind. I kind of like pushed that very far out of my mind. And thank you for bringing them. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> arc fail. Uh, this is the image for Arkville that you would see illustrated in the uh, book. Beneath it is a bottomless chasm that extends down to what basically... It it's a bottomless chasm. No one knows if there's even a bottom to it. Um, no one knows what the hell even happens if you fall like few miles down um it's suspended in the air through chains um they kind of it's weird it, it seems like the chains are kind of like holding it from from lifting it higher into the air um but it's suspended in the air and a lot of it's got a huge basis of air travel um mainly due to the air genasi taking it over when it was under attack by the Chimerans. Um, it used to be owned, well, it used to be governed over by the Dragonborn before it was sieged, and when the Third Cataclysm occurred, which brought in the Genasi, the Air Genasi took upon themselves to take that city upon it for them um, and defend it. And there's been some turmoil between the Dragonborn who once governed over the city who are now kind of like tossed over to the side um, in their own smaller district. Um, there you can travel towards the city through teleportation, um, through airships, or through the most dangerous way, traveling few miles worth up through the chains some say that there is treasure because a lot of adventurers have tried to travel across the trains and have perished and thus their items remain lost but um yeah there's arcvale is fairly self-sufficient and it is surprisingly very fortified despite being in the middle of Chimeran territory. It is literally surrounded by Chimeran cities all around. But it holds its own. Is there anything else you would like to kind of find out? Um... Anything more specific on airships? Um, the airships, a lot of them are powered by um, through magic. A lot of them through kind of like magical crystals that are they took up magical power when channeled through it to kind of power these airships. Um, a lot of them are sleek and slim in design and usually quite fast. Um, the entire the city itself has a lot of aerial defense, uh, a lot of just anti-air cannons for any other um, Chimeran airships that want to try and attack the city. So it's fairly fortified. Probably why it's still standing, mm -hmm. so to speak. Hard to get to. Um, hmm. Einar will sigh and pull his little reading glasses off and put them back in his bag. 
Is the Countess still the countess in the room? Still... Yeah. Uh, excuse me, is... Countess. Yes. Um, yes. Have you ever been to Arkvale or Jester's Landing? Um, I've not been to Arkvale, but I've been to Jester's Landing a few times. How rambunctious are they there? Jester's Landing? Yes. Very. Very. If you could imagine those who would get very rowdy in, in taverns and um it's it's very uproarious there. A lot of too rowdy for me. He thinks long and hard a moment. Would you say Candy and Marcus would would they be more or less rambunctious than the average person there? Um, from what you've from seen, what you've... equal, equal. Okay. One other question: airships. What do you know about them? They seem interesting. Never. Heard of such a thing before? Um, I'm I don't know quite a lot about airships, unfortunately. Ah, it's not something we really deal with a lot in a small town like this. So, you ever see any? I've seen a few. That's Way up big. high in the distance. Um. It's hard to cage. I've never really been in one or seen one up close, so I would assume they're somewhat big, about the size of naval ships. Hmm. So they're probably pretty probably expensive, pretty expensive, expensive to, buy. to buy. Oh, they're quite very expensive. I see. Well. Was that information, Was that information from, both from, both from both the books? Uh, yeah. Each book was um about a, the different city. What can you tell me about the other two cities? Excelsior, have you ever been there? Uh, no, I've not been to Excelsior. Stay away from Chimeran cities. Ah. Uh, what was the other city? Tidecrest. You know anything about Tidecrest? I know they do a lot of fishing there. Um, the seas are just within that area. There's it seems to be. I, I, I'm not quite sure what it is, but perhaps it's magic. Perhaps it's something else. But there's an abundance of fish there, despite how much they fish there, um, and quite a variety as well. They say yeah, the, that yeah. um, a lot of Falkes gets their fish shipments from that city alone. <laughs> or at least a wide variety where they can't get things anywhere else. If you had to pick one of these cities to go to, which one would you think is best? Oh. <laughs> she thinks on it for a moment. Um... Is none an option? Well, if you're willing to tell me why... Well... The lot at the latter of the two is Chimera... Uh, of the four is Chimera. Um, so I've not much interest. And she kind of like tilts her head a little to, you know, show off her ears. Um... Right. I think we have that in common. Ark... Mm -hmm. I'm not quite fond of all the merriment and the excitement that goes on in Justice Landing. It's, it's fun for a few days, but um, 
I can only handle that for so long. I suppose Arkville. I, I guess I want to, would want to visit it um, due to it being uh, quite the spectacle. But um, once again, it's another city that is quite um, very different and perhaps too grand for myself and. Um, to be honest, I'd most likely want to visit somewhere closer towards Marvelon. A little faster, perhaps. Hmm. What's that city like? Oh, it's, um, it's the capital for the, uh, the Half Elves. Um, it's. From what I've heard, a really lovely city. Um, a lot of the buildings made there are made out of this brilliant red wood. Um, it's red quite pretty. wood. Hmm. Is there a quick way to get there? I, I assume not. Easiest way would be to travel to one of the cities and teleport there. Well, Each of the cities have their own um, teleporting circles, and there's a process that needs to be done, but um, theoretically... I don't assume to know too much about this Chimerian or Bonnie mess, but from what I've heard what in the heard past, it'd probably be easier if we too. did that through Arkvale, or perhaps Jester's oh, Landing. I don't think you'd be able to get to Elbaster from the other two. Hmm. I see. Well. Do you know of any well paying jobs in any of these cities? What about guilds? Each city should have guilds. Um, I'm not sure about jobs. I assume each city has their own kind of jobs to list for. So, but I'm sure if wherever you go, you'll probably find work. Let's see. Well, this has been rather enlightening. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, one last thing. Mm hmm. Do you have any books that are just interesting in here? Uh, quite a few. It depends what you're looking for. Anything about magic? What sort of magic? No, oh, I don't know. Any? It's very broad. Um. But perhaps I've had this thing happen. It's more recent. Mm. Uh, visions of sorts. Seeing stuff happen before they happen. Anything like that? Hmm. Um. Perhaps. Let me take a look. She'll stand up and make her way towards um, a different bookshelf. Um, the one towards the right, and she kind of runs her finger across the binders as she kind of sweeps downwards and then downwards again. Um, hmm. This one. It's called Mystic's Oversight. Um, a lot to do about... Um, well, uh, foretelling events and, I guess, um, omens and predicting the future and prophecies. Mm. A lot say that it could be a lot of mumbo-jumbo, but um, it's an interesting one. Are you willing to part with this one? 
I am willing to part with this one, yes. How much could I purchase this for? Uh, 25 gold. You got a deal. That's right. Hand her over 25 gold. Okay. And she'll hand you um, a copy of Mystics. Um, what did I say? Foretelling. Alrighty. Okay. Sweet. Um. <laughs> uh, Everyone else. Oh, did you have something to say? I was just going to say, with that, he will stand up, offer her a little bow, and excuse himself from the uh, building. Okay. R&R we're... has left the building. I'd imagine when R&R leaves, he just sees everybody outside waiting for him. <laughs> yeah. Like to go in. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, the guard's just gonna, yeah, he's, he's just inside. Yeah, let me go. Ca oh, there he is. Well, there you are, and now we've been looking for you all over the place. There you are. Ah, hello. Greetings. What are you doing oh. here? Well, I bought this map, and then I decided we should make an informed decision. So I asked the Countess if she had any books. She had books on two of the cities. Just huh. as landing in Arkvale. Okay. Huh. No kidding. Let's look over towards Damien in a moment and and uh, Evelyn. How are they looking at, at the current moment? Um. Uh, oh, go ahead. Well, from what I understand, they. I mean, I guess we would have all met up at that point. So. Um. Uh, generally speaking, I'm bothered. Um, Evelyn looks pretty... Uh, generally speaking, her usual peaceful demeanor. Um, what do you call it? Uh, when... Damien would have probably seemed to have been, like, uh, frowning slightly um, when... Uh, Einar comes out, um, but, uh, when, like, when Einar looks at him, he, the, his face just kind of goes back to, like, this kind of, like, awkward, like, oh, hi, uh, but he would be kind of, like, absentmindedly rubbing, like, the center of his chest. Is there a, like, a garden around here with like a table and chairs uh yeah i'll look oh. over to the guard you mind if we uh pop a squat over at that table over there yeah yeah feel free oh i have a quick question guys um are we thinking that us as a you know sort of all big group here are we thinking that we might be doing more um jobs through the countess in the future I suppose if she asked for him, we would, but... She's a nice lady, I don't see why not, but it might be difficult oh. for us to get here. Well... At least in a timely manner. Ah, well, you see, because she's like, she has her hands, like, like her hands clenched into a fist, like, bringing them up and down, like, like hopping. Like, she can't contain all the energy in her body. She kind of looks at everyone. Well, since we got a new member here in our group and we're thinking we might be doing future jobs with her, don't we think we should have her meet him as well? I mean, yes. he did, he, yeah, I mean, Marcus, he did get all dolled up for it after all. It's supposed to be a waste if we didn't. She, like, puts up a finger to her lips, like, don't say that part. <laughs> dolled up. Before you go in there and speak with her, uh, let me tell you what I found out. Just so you don't re-ask anything that I might have asked. Oh, well... We don't have to go in there. It's, it's fine. I don't believe it would be too necessary, at least at the moment. 
Uh, she she looks torn, like she wants to say more, but kind of opens and closes her mouth and then gives a little nod. Well, uh, all right, if everyone uh, uh, agrees on that, okay. Well, I mean, you're gonna say something, Candace. Say it. I mean, you, you your, your words are just as good as everybody else's here. Huh? No, no, no. It's okay. I said my idea is just um, everyone has a different plan. So let's do that, okay? Well, I suppose if you're okay with it, Candy, uh, I'm fine either way myself. Mm -hmm. um, it gives a big nod. Marcus just kind of uh, looks I... at Candy a little. <laughs> what did Candy say? I don't think I caught that. Just now, or? Yeah. Uh, she said, I already stated my idea. Uh, everyone seems to have uh, their own idea they want to go with, so let's go with that. That's okay. She kind of tilts her head, but kind of shrugs it off, more or less, and it's just... Yeah, well, um... I mean... I don't particularly have any preference, so to speak. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to do. I'd also like to say Marcus looking at Candy would probably make an insight check to see if this was actually uh, disheartening her in any way. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Marcus cares. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I beat it, so... <laughs> uh, whoops, meant to do that other layer, but, uh... I would have beat it um, with a nat one. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, you see she's disheartened. Um, You get... Well, how in-depth do I really go about it? Uh, She's torn... What do you but, think? <laughs> yeah, she, basically, she's torn between... Wanting to go along with what everyone said, because that seems to be the general consensus, and she doesn't want to go against the general consensus. But another part of her also seems to have <laughs> acknowledged the fact that Damien seemed to have rushed, like, quickly worked to doll himself up and wanted to meet the Countess. <laughs> so she's trying to encourage that so that can happen. So she's torn between these two things. <laughs> Well, you know what, Marcus will turn to the party. I mean, it's probably wouldn't hurt to go in a chat to her real quick anyways. There was something I wanted to get uh, cleared up with her. Why don't you come up with me there, Damien? It's a good idea to always meet people, after all. Expression brightens a little. I didn't say we couldn't. I just have information. <laughs> but I knew you guys were going to ask things. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, you lay it on us, my friend. All right, well, I learned about two cities, Jester's Landing and Arkvale. Quite frankly, he looks at Damien and Evelyn, then blinks and looks over to Marcus and Candy. Jester's Landing is more or less one massive party city. If, Damien, you cannot handle... The exuberance of Candy and Marcus as they are now. Well, imagine a whole city full of them. <laughs> candy glances at Marcus like, what's he talking about? <laughs> Marcus looks Very over excitable candy. people. I don't know what this month's holiday is, but they're going to be celebrating it the whole month. Uh... That said, I don't think it's a terrible city to go visit. Just be aware that it's very high energy. And then in terms of Arkvale, that one is a little more interesting in my opinion. They have these things called airships. I don't think we'd be able to afford one, but could be interesting to see them up close and in person for a method of quick travel across the land. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. I suppose, yes, if there's any sort of jobs available at either one, they should be aware of. Yeah, she's unaware of any jobs. In fact, she said she wouldn't visit any of these cities. Oh. She'd rather go to Earl Baster, which is the city of half-elves. I looked on my map that I bought here, and it's on the other side of the continent. I so, think that's really a bit of a trip. A choice. <laughs> yeah. 
Apparently you can get there through your teleportation via, I think, the Chimerian cities. Man, I, I, uh, but that oh, seems like it might be a process. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would... Don't, any There's city. any city. Oh, any city. Oh, But uh, Chimerians yeah. would be... It'd be highly unlikely that a Chimerian city could get to a neutral or a, or a Bonnie city. And, and due to I the cost... I thought the other way around. And I would assume the cost of teleportation magic would be rather costly considering what's involved with doing it. <laughs> None of you know. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know much about magic, but it might be a bit costly to teleport. If it wasn't, I mean, everybody would use it, right? Actually, Damien would know. Okay. Damien! Damien. Uh, Damien, you would know that, um, based on the logistics, it depending on what's actually, um... What actually is involved and how much is being transported, it can range anywhere between like 50 gold pieces per person to about 200 gold pieces per person. It, de it really depends what's being transported, whether it's goods or people or military or whatever. Yeah. It's okay. a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. I imagine. I'm guessing my mentor might have handled stuff like that at some point, maybe. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Damien would uh, pipe up. Uh, actually, um, uh, I... Uh, <clears throat> so, you have to... There's this. It's this whole thing. You have to set up a contract uh, with the people on the other side of the portal before they allow you to go through... Um, it's a bit complicated, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know the spell to contact the people on the other side, but, um, if I'm ever able to learn it, I could probably, uh, set up a pretty good contract for us. Um, I know sometimes it's anywhere from, like, 50 to 200 gold pieces a person, uh, uh sometimes it's more. Uh, sometimes it's less depending on if it's goods or uh, if you're somehow connected to the people on the other side or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, he seems to have, like, gotten more confident as he spoke about something he knows about and then less confident as he ended. Well, I mean, that's always an option, I suppose, but, I mean, a 200 gold a pop, that's quite a hefty sum at the moment. That's not what I was recommending by any stretch. So fair enough. It's just, it's just an option. Well, we'll, we'll have to discuss... It's cheaper than an airship. Yeah, that is fair. Well, I suppose we should head and see the, uh, the, the Countess, though, quickly, just to kind of reaffirm ourselves that if uh, she needs any of our assistance, and of course with our new uh, member, you said you knew a spell that might be able to contact people through minds, you said, correct there, uh, Damien? Uh, oh, n no, it's, um, I don't, but it's, it's, uh, I, I think I should be able to learn it at some point, um. That's fantastic. Uh, in that case, I think we should all head in and inter uh, just reintroduce ourselves and make sure we're all good with the, uh, with the Countess. Uh, come and Candy? Yeah, let's go. Marcus will gently lead Damien into the <laughs> keep from past the guards to meet the uh, Duchess before we leave. <laughs> or the Countess. Everybody keeps touching Damien. It's a gently, as in he's not really touching you, he's more guiding you. Okay. You make your way inside and Count uh, Countess Lucien is currently at the top of the staircase, just um, reading at the moment. Hi again! Oh, uh, Candy, it's nice to see you again. It's super duper nice to see you too. Uh, how can I help you all? Well, we were just uh, wondering, because uh, we want to keep ourselves open to you, that if you need any further assistance, that uh, you would keep our names in mind, since we're rather close 
I'd rather grow quite attached to some of the citizens of this city. We would like to help again if you ever need it. Oh, of course. Um, are you traveling somewhere? Uh, we are. I know implied that. Uh, yes, it's. It seems like you're. We're planning on traveling to uh, one of the neighboring cities. It would be rather hard to contact you. Well, I mean, that is the case, but uh, we have a friend here we'd like you to meet, too. Yeah, and... since we're going to continue doing work with you, we thought we should introduce you. All right. Gestures towards you, Damien, behind her back. She's like, go on, go on. Yeah, um, Damien this time is uh, uh, standing straighter, doesn't look as nervous as he does around the rest of you every other time. Um, and he would actually uh, stride forward um, and uh, I don't know, I mean like Damien would know, but I don't know the the uh, protocol when introducing yourself to a countess. Um, just formal either like bowing your head or um Formal handshakes or, or any any formalities, really. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Damon would kind of bow his head for a, a moment and uh, say, "It's a pleasure being introduced to you, uh, Countess. Um, I've never had the pleasure of meeting a uh, seen before. I have heard of your um, alchemical." Business, I believe, is what your family is uh, works in. What's strange to you is that the signs are humans, Falcon humans, oh, from what you've heard okay. of their business. She's a half elf. And roll me an insight check. Oh no, I insulted her. <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she rolled really low. You see her falter as you speak of um, the alchemical business of her family, and she just kind of... There's a brief, like, hesitation there, and, like, her brow kind of furrows for a moment before she kind of gives you a small smile. Right, um, uh, yes, uh, my business... Um, I've kind of separated from the rest of my family to kind of govern over this town. Um, uh, oh, uh, I didn't know. Um, I'm sorry for any uh, assumption. Uh, and he seems to start getting uh, more nervous at that. Um, um, Anyway, uh, yeah, <clears throat> as my, uh, uh, friends, uh, colleagues, I guess, said, um, since we, uh, want to work with you more, um, uh, I have this, uh, letter of introduction from my guild, um, I'm a, uh, scrivener, um, uh, I've actually been uh, been given a, a title. Um, oh, I didn't I didn't inter introduce myself. Um, I my name is uh, uh, Damien Vale uh, Esquire, and he kind of is holding the letter out in his left hand and also holding his right hand out for her to shake. She takes the letter and shakes your hand. It's um, it's nice to meet you, Damien. I am Countess Reynesa. Uh, you sign. Of course, you already know. <laughs> yeah, Damien would just, uh, nod at that point. Um, yeah, um, I, I, uh, uh, I, I, he takes a breath and <laughs> tries to calm down and says, uh, yeah, I'm. If you uh, look over the uh, letter 
for my guild and say this, um, but um, I I specialize in uh, the examination, transition, and evaluation of assets, um, as well as the examination, translation, and verification of contracts. If um, we ever need help with those, uh, maybe with tr- trade or something. Right, and um... she kind of slowly opens the letter. Uh, where were you from again? Um, uh, which direction is uh, Fortitude? North. Okay. Uh, oh, um, I'm I'm from North. Uh, right. She. But with that same insight, she. There's a slight strained look, but she nods her head. Very well. Um, if I have any any contracts and anything that uh, would require assistance, I'll be sure to keep you on. Uh, you think not? Just step back. Is there anything else? She kind of looks towards the rest of the party. Also glances at the others. I'm good. Well, I think uh, we got all the information we needed earlier, so... Not anything in particular. I just want to say hi, though! Gives an excited wave. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure helping you as we could, Countess. Of course, and I, I can't express my gratitude um, how much that uh, y'all had saved the town from the undead. She does not have a stick up her, cover her mouth. Uh, what, what was that? <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm good. Ah, uh, sorry. Just thought I saw something. Deception check. Okay. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, <laughs> when you need it. <laughs> right, it's okay. Smile well, sweetly. If, if that's all, then um, I guess when we meet again. Yep, yeah, bye. bye! Quickly turns and speeds, walks out, mumbling, you almost got me in trouble! <laughs> uh once again, just, if you ever do need us, though, we will uh, try to keep in touch for that. And uh, thank you again for all you're done for us and you know helping about h- helping us out and everything. Of course, I should be thanking you. <laughs> Heck, we just did our diligence, di- our diligent duties, old ma'am, and it is a pleasure to always assist those in need. I hope that um, the next lot of people that you help. Uh, well, I'm sure they'll be in good hands. The best, ma'am. The best. And he kind of like does like the snigger finger snap thing. He says, okay, let's head her on out there, guys. Come on, Damien. <laughs> Sparkus says as he kind of like, does it, goes in for like to kind of grab him by the shoulder. Remember about the no touch thing? He stops and goes, no, wait, my mistake. And he kind of just like, after you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, Damien just kind of walks. Uh, he's again kind of rubbing his uh, chest <laughs> that went pretty well I think it went fantastic what'd you say Evan you needed you to oh sorry what what was that you say it went fantastic don't you agree <laughs> I would say so. What do you think of the Countess? Uh, looks towards Damien. She seems, uh... Nice. Yeah, she is a charming lady. She was uh, kind enough, too, to let me do a portrait of her. Yes, 
exactly. She is very nice. Looks pointedly in a direction. <laughs> very regal in her own rat. Exactly. Hmm. So, what is it we're doing next? Well, I guess we gotta decide which of the two cities we're going to. It sounded like uh, Einar had an opinion on that. Horses. Oh, cart and horses? Yeah, probably. Really? You think mm -hmm. so? Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess we guess, guess we could do that. <laughs> Marcus kind of rubs his chin. Wait, do what? Oh, get some Hors carts and horses for everybody. And horses. <gasps> I love horses. Well, not bad with them myself. I mean, they, they tend to like me. Most things do. Uh, but... <laughs> But you're so nice. Well, I think thank it would you. Be wise to have a cart and horses. Can Cheers. I name the horses? Are you going to name them Cupcake and Sprinkle? What? No. I mean, I was going to say Sprinkle, <laughs> but no. no. <laughs> I was going to name them uh Lollipop and Taffy. Well, I do like them, but maybe we should meet the horses before you name them. Kind of like, see what their personality is like, and name them based off of that. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. Well, okay, well, let's go get ourselves some horses. I guess we gotta head down to the, uh, shopping district for that. By the way, Candy, did you want to go looking for that dress of yours while we're out? Oh, right, I almost forgot about that. Um, hmm. Well... Even if I had one, it's not like I really have an occasion to wear it, so... Eh, I'm sure another time. Yeah, sure. Hey, you know what? If we go to that party town, I bet you they got fabulous dresses. <gasps> True. I've always wanted to attend a party. You've never been to a party? Well, I mean, I've been to parties, but they're not really a type of parties you'd think of as a par uh, Just basically normal parties. That sounds like fun. I'd be more than happy to come down with you. We'll head. We'll definitely have to hit a party. The what party goes think? to a party. <laughs> you guys want to come party? <laughs> Entirely well. see what kind of jobs they're gonna have there, but they do have a lot of bards colleges apparently. And you two? It looks between Evelyn and Damien. I don't believe I particularly have a preference, but I do enjoy a good function, so... Alright. What about you, Damien? Oh, um... I guess I prefer... Uh... Jester's land. Do you prefer parties or heights? Because that's what the choice is, <laughs> by the sounds of it. I think... I think we'll take parties. Yay! Party! <laughs> Yay! Well, I guess it's oh. Jester's Land and it is then. Are you all sure that we can't go to, well, well, well Arkvale? We, we can hit both, obviously, in the end. Maybe we'll head to Arkvale after. I mean, they've got to be close by, right? Actually. Um, I suppose uh, we're kind of in a triangle. If we go to Justice Landing, I think that is closer than Arkvale, but Justice Landing is about the same distance from Arkvale as we are now. Oh, there we go. We go to Justice Land, then we hit the Arkvale. Yay! Cops excitedly. So, as of um, course, if our paths take us to Arkvale after Justice Landing. Well, fair enough. But I suppose it's one way to look at it, though, right? So we'll hit the Jester thing, and if uh, it's providing nothing pops up horrifying and just, you know, derails us, we'll go to the our fail after. Yeah, and, um, so, what exactly do we do at a party? Well, you mm -hmm. sing, you dance, you have dinner and food, hang out with friends. <laughs> Marcus, that's all aspects of what people can do. At the end of the day, it's just about enjoying yourself. Oh, true enough. Hmm, but... Then, doesn't that mean a bunch of different people are doing a bunch of different things because everyone has a different way of thinking of ways to enjoy themselves because everyone has a different way of things that they like and dislike? Well, generally, yeah, there's... Time. <laughs> you didn't catch that? She said, basically, you know, a bunch of people have a fun way they, they have different... <laughs> 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 I 
a cute straight face. I'm just straight face. The both of you with a completely straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't do it a straight face. I could stop laughing. We could do it. <laughs> Basically, I said, doesn't everyone have a different interpretation of what's, um, enjoyable? So, like, a bunch of different people are doing a bunch of different things. Hmm. Well, yeah, but I suppose that's part of the fun of the party. Yeah, think, think of it like this. A big party means there's a lot of groups they split off into, and you find a group that's doing the stuff you like, and you do the stuff together. Huh. And how do you figure out which thing you like to do? Well, you just do what feels right, I suppose. Now, for example, yeah. Candy, you like to dance, I know that. You had a lot of fun dancing with the ghosts. Yep, I did. Well, there you go. There's So you find a group where they're doing music and dancing, and you join in. Oh, okay. That, yeah, okay, I can do that. <laughs> I, will I just also had say. a wonderful idea. <gasps> What's your it? wonderful idea? What if I got the whole city to celebrate a forged and fired championship? You know, you <laughs> put a part of your Jesus entire mission, Christ. transforming every single city into some sort of forge city. No, well, maybe for a month. <laughs> you know, is it is there a Forge holiday? Is there a Forge holiday? There is not a Forged holiday, but there are... What you're basically doing is very akin to... Um, Drindaya's kind of like... Ch championship type... Um, I wouldn't say holidays, but kind of like tournaments whereas um there's a tournament to find the best warrior there's a tournament to find the best pyromancer and a tournament to find basically the best hunter um each of those basically basically kind of forged um what became known as um, Drindaya's champions, the three demigods that um, rep represent um, the uh, what was it? Um, glory um, of hunting and of well, fire. Okay. Uh, also, would Marcus know at holiday it would be probably be celebrated right now? Um, well, let me, let me check a look. Any other questions while I am looking? You know, Mira did say Perhaps we should look for a place, a ruin. Maybe I'll just hold off on the whole forged and fire thing until we have our own place. Then I can it's... just run it from home. <laughs> Got Bill Jones, mm -hmm. Smithy. You know, if That'd we do. Cool. It'd be kind of nice have our own digs, have our own place. We can each get our own room with our own specialized uh, section of the place. Yeah. Oh, I know. Were you seen this before about the um, cupcake crown? Could you I never it? said one way or the other. You mentioned it and asked. I didn't get a chance to answer. Could he answer now? Sure, I'll make it the Forged in Fire Championship item down in Jester's Landing. I'm sure they might get a kick out of that. <gasps> I'm so excited for my cupcake crown. And we can queen you the cupcake queen during a party ceremony. <sighs> I, I know I have a really this. bad feeling about this. <laughs> it is kind. Oh, it, it is currently um, the month of six sixes war. Um, so the holiday would be the call of conflict. <laughs> a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, gladiator matches. A lot of people. Um, basically, what would be happening in Jester's Landing right now? 
would be that there'd just be a lot of bar brawls. There'd be a lot of like gladiator fights. A lot of um, yeah. Perfect for a smithing championship. Yeah. Also, a place to make a name for yourself, possibly. <laughs> Well, I heard they're doing a lot of, like, uh, fisticuff fights down there. Maybe we can make a name for ourselves while we're down there as well. Fisticuffs? You know, fisticuffs. Marcus just clicked some of the boxing motions. They punch each other? Call it fighting. Well, you could, but I mean, it doesn't have quite the same flair to it. Storm, there's an echo. Ree! I suppose... Well, but hey, case I know with the three of us here, and he kind of like looks at the three candy himself and honor. I'm sure, we could e maybe even get ourselves a bit of a nice prask person there. Hmm. Perhaps. Suppose we'll have to wait and see. So, am I to understand that they basically punch each other just for the fun of it? Well, this time of year, yeah, just because it's a it's kind of a, a holiday of rebellion and strength kind of sort of thing. Huh. God, so I can only imagine if it was like a romantic holiday, how bad would that city be? <gasps> That'd be so sweet. I'd have to admit, it'd be pretty interesting. Nothing's quite like uh, doing paintings of couples in love. Really shows the inner soul when they're like that. All the sweet, fluffy little vibes in the air. Ah, there's a little spin. <laughs> Actually, Marcus will, like, pull out. You might like this pan in here I did way back when in my earlier days, Candy. What is it? Y he'll pull out. Well, I did this one portrait back when I found these two young, uh, well, they were farm kids who had quite that puppy love phase. And he pulls out a painting of these, uh, two young farm, uh, a male, a female, like, farm, probably, like, late teens or mid-teens together but marcus when his youth when he first drew it also like drew little like heart clouds around it and kind of like made it more like a doodle <laughs> oh that's so sweet some of my <laughs> earlier work my master kinda did not head... oh. <laughs> kind of tilts her head curiously he's just like how come they're not all scarred up hmm? oh the scars yeah i mean why aren't they all scarred up i mean they look pretty i mean healthy and peppy well, I mean, they were just farm kids. They weren't warriors. But I mean, they had like a puppy love thing, right? Oh, I see your mistake. Oh, no, no, not puppy love as in like biting, clawing, and, you know, doing it like they do. Uh, <laughs> uh, more like uh, young love, like a uh, child, like, you know, you're just experiencing it for the first time. So who is the victor of the fight? Usually the woman. <laughs> Marcus is nodding. Tilts her head at the boy in the picture. He doesn't look scarred up. Nope, but I guarantee you he was being led around by the leash. Huh. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Looks genuinely confused, but nods her head anyway. Evelyn's distracted. But if you're on with a oh. real puppy love, I suppose there's always those gnolls around. They they probably have an interesting version of puppy love. Hmm. Back in my tribe, if you find yourself interested in someone, you challenge them to a duel and you fight close to the death and hope that they don't die. And then if they survive, you both have it together and possibly have kids and whatever else. Well, that's an interesting way to do it. I suppose it's kind of like... Do... Huh? Can <laughs> you just interrupt and say, should we go? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 let's get them horses and wagons. Yeah, we're walking and talking. So I'm assuming we probably hit the stables, uh, Storm? Yeah, yeah. and for sake of brevity, um, how many horses are you buying? Oh, if it's a cart uh, and wagon, we don't need more than two, two to, yeah, two horses yeah. and a cart. need to find the prices. Uh, I think it's 50 gold uh, for a draft horse. It could be yeah. wrong, though. It could be wrong, though. <laughs> Which ironically moves the ironically exact same speed, the exact as same speed as Marcus. <laughs> Except they don't tire. 
They tire. They just tire. <laughs> As is, they have yeah. they have more yeah. stamina. Uh, draft horses are fifty gold. Yes, and for a cart or a wagon. Uh, a cart's a uh, hand cart, so it has to be a wagon. A cart's for being pulled wagon. by a person. Yeah, uh, thirty-five gold for a wagon. So one hundred thirty-five so total. Thirty-five total. Yep. Yeah. I would buy extra buy wheels. Extra wheels. Uh, I can, uh, I can, if you guys want. It's like two copper. Marcus will shove a put a hundred gold in. Well, I got the horses. If someone else wants to get the wagon, let's, let's go with five copper. The wheels are okay. Well, okay. I I will buy ten wheels. <laughs> it's a lot of wheels. <laughs> They're that cheap. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing a price on him. Uh, this was unexpected. <laughs> I don't know the logistics of wheel prices, dude. I probably they'd probably be more than that. They'd given probably be the more than that. They'd probably close to like gold. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, let's go with gold each. I will still buy ten wheels. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> So Marcus bought the so Marcus, Marcus bought, bought the horses. Bought so, he, the horses so he, Candy, want to help me pick out a couple good horses? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, Marcus, folks, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, man. Oh, don't yeah, worry. We're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. Yeah. You all have a good. Um, have a good. Yeah. Bye, bye. 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 Feel free to describe any old random horse color, like. There wouldn't be a black one, I don't think. There'd be, you know, the hazel, the speckled one. No, they're draft horses, so they'll be they'll be very plain looking. Ah, uh, very plain looking. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what draft horses are, right? They're yeah. they're just like the true, true, like true. The, yeah. standard brown horses. Yeah, they're they're not. They wouldn't be anything special. Look, purple horse. <laughs> looking each of them over, which one seems like it needs the fr a friend the most? Um, there's the one in the back that's just kind of <coughs> chilling, um, away from all the other horses, just near an apple tree. She's just kind of... She'll approach it. Kind of turns its head towards you. Hi! <laughs> you want an oyster for... <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, God damn it! Uh, it just kind of stares at you. She'll inch closer, reach for one of the app. Oh jeez! Offer it. Go ahead and roll me an animal handling trick. Oh no! Oh no! Oh wait, I'm as uh, something I'm proficient in. Nice. You got plus. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. It looks at the apple. And then turns its head back and just kind of continues, like, kind of grazing. Aww. Not really paying any attention to you. Marcus will walk up behind Candy and just go, Here, boy! As he come, does his old farm boy routine to how he used to treat the draft horses when he was a kid. <laughs> Roll me an animal handling truck. <laughs> Just continues grazing. It doesn't even lift its head up. Can well, you try uh, to reach uh, out to pet it? <laughs> yeah. You can roll me an animal handling trick. Oh, no. <laughs> Evelyn will look at everything that's happening, and I feel like she will actually approach. You pet the horse, and it just seems to continue grazing. doesn't really acknowledge either way. It's not mad, it's not upset, but it's just kind of chilling. It's so cute. I mean, it doesn't seem to really care much for me, but I'm sure with time I can be its bestest friend. Evelyn will bite a little bit down towards her lips, and she will let out a little sharp whistle towards Le Horse. Okay. Just kind of get its attention? Yeah. Turns its head towards you for a moment. Um, she kind of looks a little bit curiously. It's just, hi. 
and proceeds to kind of look over towards everything that's kind of happening before and um with some of her experience um tending with animals um she just is admittedly a little shy but kind of looking at the horse um does it seem to be generally speaking docile yeah and i don't think that she would have too much of a problem just approaching albeit slowly okay you approach it slowly just seems to continue grazing I feel like she kind of looks over for a little bit, and before she lightly places a hand um, kind of on its front leg, um, its shoulder, front shoulder. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything else? She'll look. She'll turn and look down. Um, look back towards the others, and with a bit of a quieter voice, she's just like, "Is this the one that we're looking for?" Well, one of them can't have seen the lacket, so I figured we'd go for this one. Yeah, it's all alone. I don't want it to be lonely. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bit of alone time. But... <sighs> and she'll go ahead and she'll just kind of stroke the horse uh, passively. Before... Hmm... Vicious mockery, kill the horse. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um she'll go ahead and actually like slowly reach from the small pets on the shoulder and eventually she'll reach over towards the neck. So she eventually gets to the head. Okay. Well me an animal handling truck. Yeah. If, if I see this go badly, I would like to like do a whistle or something to try to get the horse under control uh, also would like to use knowledge of the ages to be proficient in it for 10 <laughs> minutes and we'll have okay. <laughs> nice someone's got the bright idea oh finally good roll except everyone's okay. not good at being bad <laughs> oh, anyway <laughs> okay. no that is it your job to is your job me. alone <laughs> uh, the horse seems to s- uh, finally acknowledge someone there and um, looks over towards you and kind of like mm, leans its head into your hand a little. Hmm. <laughs> Docile and friendly. How do you do that? Uh, just a little bit of experience with animals in my past. I mean, in general though, like animals and people, everyone seems to really like you. Hmm. She kind of, like, actually seems to give it some legitimate thought, and, uh... I'm not entirely sure, but uh, thanks for the compliment, that being said. Hmm. Well, it's definitely impressive, so we'll grab this one and one other. Uh, Alright. Which other? Damien, having, having seen that, would uh, whistle out to another one. Okay. To you catch one, over. like... Over towards the um, the other horses, and one kind of turns its head uh, towards you and makes its way over. Just kind of trotting along. Uh, yeah, I'll just, he'll just, uh, I guess, we'll try to pet it and see how. Roll me an animal handling trick. Not okay, bad. with that, it Not seems bad, to yeah. look. Yeah, it, it leans slightly into your hand and just kind of lets out a slight neigh. Candy inches forward, wide eyed, trying not to scare off the horse, which is watching this interaction. How do you do that? David would just kind of shrug. Oh. I don't know. It's, it's just about uh, seeing how they're acting and what they respond to, I guess. Seeing how they're acting and what they respond to? Yeah, he would nod. Uh, well, um, you, you managed to do it this time. What should I do? Uh, don't... 
You're asking for advice, is what you're doing, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I won't steal this from you. Go, go on ahead, Damien. No, it's it's fine. Well, you, well, you better at this. I want to know from both of you. Both of you are really good at this. Well, I suppose it's kind of like. Of course, you want to always pay attention to what, um, what something, someone might desire, or um, on the opposite hand, be a bit distasteful towards. Um, when it comes to horses, in particular, they're a very peaceful animal, and because of that, anything that's oftentimes a little bit too excitable can sometimes appear mm, scary to them. So, it's oftentimes a lot better that instead of something like a dog, which would usually respond a lot better to excitableness, oftentimes a horse is something that needs a bit more of a gentle approach. Nods her head, uh, listening very attentively, uh, then turns as well to Damien for his advice. I was just going to say the same thing, of course. That's good advice. Oh, so you did the same thing? Yeah, David would shrug. Now, I will say one thing, though. Um, they are, as big as they are, really, horses are essentially, at their core, prey animals. Um... While they may desire something that's a little bit more calming, you also don't want to be anxious around them. They can feel it. Um, be confident, but be calm. Okay. All right, I got this. Confident, calm. Yeah. Joel. Let me see if I can help you. And uh, pulling out her flute, because I'm a nerd and know that horses actually kind of like music, uh, she would just begin to play a soft little tune. Roll me performance. This is when things go bad, guys. Go bad, <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Nothing ever goes bad for me. <laughs> okay, it's oh. bad. That's not, no, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad, but it just seems to chill. Doesn't. Yeah. Alright, Candy will carefully approach. Try not to be so excitable. Keep the energy levels down and reach out to pet it. I'm so waiting for that nat one that's just just creeping around the corner. Now, right first now. of all, I don't want to hear that from you, a fucking culmination of luck. All right. <laughs> Roll me another animal handling show. Uh, I believe in you. There you go. Okay. That's an improvement. It's equal this to that, Brian. Kind of. Yeah. This time it kind of like uh, leans its head slightly into your hand and gives a soft neigh. With an encouraging smile, she reaches up a hand, though, as she's uh, playing her flute, and she'll, for just like a quick moment, she puts a passing finger um, up against her lips. Just keep that excitement down. She pressing her lips together tightly, doing her best. Because <laughs> every fiber of her being wants to start screaming in excitement. She will very carefully keep petting it, looking between both uh, Evelyn and Damien with this uh, look in her eyes of like, I am so happy right now. This is the highlight of my entire life. <laughs> she smiles through her flute, but uh, won't say anything until eventually uh, the music does stop and it's just, so how is it? And keep your voice low. It's really soft. <laughs> yeah. Peaceful creatures that really have been alongside, well, people for <laughs> since the beginning, pretty much. Yeah, and it's so small too. I mean, it's a horse, so it's kind of big. But I mean, for compared to the horses I've seen, it's small. It's really cute. <laughs> I'd say so. Yeah. There, there. Don't be scared. I'm nice. I swear. All right, let's keep these two. I like them. Good pick, Candy. 
Well, they're little brown guys, so I guess we've got to name them now. Cookie and chocolate chip. Not bad. I like it. Can we go with chocolate for just one of them, or chip? Ah, uh, hmm. chocolate. All Cookie right. and chocolate. Those I will love sweets. them forever and ever, and they my chocolate and cookie, and I will never leave them behind, shh, ever. Shh, shh. Right, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <sighs> by, by the way, I'd say at this point, Marcus will take them out, and is uh, he just kind of, generally, because you want to always run a horse before you take it out, Marcus will run the horse, but run alongside them, since our running speeds are equivalent. <laughs> okay, buddy, let's get some exercise in. <laughs> Okay, and with that, we're gonna call it though. Sounds good. Woo. Sounds good.